Hello everyone in peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and let us have some good time together yesterday we posted a question to the Muslims Muhammadan and the answers came very amazing answers I mean you know as usual you know the thing the only one who can give you a straight answer to the question is the Muhammadan <clears throat> I mean they have all the answers as long as it has nothing to do with the question. Let us see an example of the answers they gave us about the question. And the question was about uh, the story of Adam and Adam being called a person who will be a caliphate, <coughs> sorry, who will inherit the earth. <coughs> and there is nobody before Adam to inherit the earth. We show you the hadith where Muhammad said that Allah created Adam Friday afternoon. So Adam will inherit what? From who? So either the Muslim have to agree that Allah is weak in Arabic, he doesn't speak good Arabic, and he used the word caliphate or caliphate, which is a stupid word to use for somebody. He is the first man. Or they have to give us an explanation, which nobody can do. Secondly, we ask the Muslims, how Allah he accused the angels his angels to be a bunch of liars what is the answer Radwan Ahmed said this man is a deceiver okay believe me one day he will be exposed okay I bet you all okay these Christians to learn about Islam from a critic may Allah guide you all so there is no answer no answer the one who his name is Halib do you like to call me my friend don't mention this Ibn Farouk Ibn Farouk is just a kid you know if he is a man if you make a video for him he go report it to YouTube copyright because he is a potato you know his bum is bigger than his head at least mention a man you know give me his Skype I will call him right now he will not there and don't forget to watch my videos where he said that Aisha sorry uh, uh, the Prophet he freed her to honor her to marry her and then we show the reference that Muhammad he never freed her he never honored her and he never married her so at least mention a name of a man for us and you know it's very funny I think it's you Uthman is the one is here because nobody mentioned the name of this kid except himself. Like, he remind me of this guy, his name, uh, what's his name? The crazy guy. I forgot, the one who called me, like, you know, about the, about the alcohol. Man, uh, uh, <laughs> Nader Ahmad, Nader Ahmad. So, Halib, do you like to call, to call your sheikh and put him with, uh, live on air with us? Only me and him. You just sit and watch and see everybody. The one who run away is the coward and he is a muta boy. This is the truth. The second we challenge you, you run away. You know. But it's not your fault. It's the fault of, uh, you know, some, some uh, uh, silly people who make, uh, they support him without knowing, you know. Uh, anyway. So, what is the answer? What is the answer? Can all those who they are in YouTube and they claim to be shake or non shake, I don't care how much you shake your ass. Here we shake the ass of Allah and you can do nothing about it. Look at the stupid God. He accused his angels to be a bunch of liars. Read carefully. It's not me who is saying that. It's your Quran. And the funny they say to you, this guy is a liar. I'm showing you in the screen. It says Allah said to the angels, if you are a truthful, which means they are not a truthful. They are not truthful. Because if they are truthful, then why Allah accused them not to be truthful? You see, when I say to somebody, if you are a truthful, that's mean I am saying you are the opposite. You are a scam. And he was taken explain to us what kind of God he accused his... Uh, Halib, just take a hike, buddy. Take a hike. 
you know go and bring me your your boyfriend this is the only thing you have ibn farooq ibn farooq ibn farooq the boy who don't dare to speak to me ibn farooq why he is sleeping with you in the bed like muhammad was sleeping with uh, 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 the kilbi cowards stop mentioning a name you see first of all if you are a man you will call me yourself obviously you aren't a man and then you ask us to talk to somebody he is not a man obviously because he refused to talk to us get out of here the little devil genie you are a little genie aren't you you are so cute they don't want to answer look what they are talking about we talk about their god they talk about ibn farouk <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Muhammadan are the most funny people ever when it's come to the religion. You ask them a question: How the prophet? Why the prophet? He jump in the water, have dead dogs, and uh, you know he will say to you, "Well, okay, you know what? I saw a Christian. He have lies. Look, what does this have to do with the question? I'm talking about your prophet. I saw there is a guy. He is American. He did not clean his apartment for two years. Okay, look, what does this have to do with the question? So are you saying that your prophet is filthy like this American? Is that the conclusion? Hmm. They have no answer. They, they, they need to change the topic because they, they are ashamed of, of, of the topic. They will talk about anything. They will talk about me, about you. They talk about anything. Like you, you watch a video of uh, Mimi, uh, uh, the sister of Cece. He talk about the wife of this guy and the wife of that guy. What does have to do with the topic? Because they cannot answer. They, this guy he is posting a picture of his wife next to him in the airplane and there's a guy next to her in that. So what? This is an airplane, you idiot. What's <laughs> Look like his wife. She never go in airplane and there's somebody next to her. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> Caliph. Uh. Anyway, so do we have any Muslim have an answer? You know what? I'm going to do this. Uh, even though I wasn't planning to uh, uh, to go in uh, Skype, but I have an offer for the Muslims. Who want to call me live on air and give us the answer? I'm logging in my Skype. <clears throat> Just to show you how they change the topic in the speed of light, the second they notice that this topic is exposing Actually, all of his time is destroyed by such a little question. Because if the angels are a bunch of liars, what is the guarantee that the angel who came to Muhammad, he was not a liar too? You know what I mean? They are liars. What is the guarantee? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Who is a Muhammadan would like to call and answer such a simple question? Why your God a lot accusing his angels to be a bunch of liars? Very simple. And if the angels are not truthful, and remember, remember here, Allah is not accusing one angel. And remember here, you see in Christianity, Satan was a fallen angel. In Islam, no. In Islam, they are not. None of them. So Allah accusing who? Accusing all the angels. And the verse is so clear. He said, Allah, he said to the angels. He did not say to an angel. He said to the angels. Let us see. We have uh, somebody is trying to call. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Yes, your friend, you're live on air. What do you want to say to us? Uh, actually, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm not a Muslim. Oh, okay. But I was trying to check your Skype because there was a guy since last almost three weeks. He was keep talking to me. His name is Mansur Farzan. Okay. He want to talk to you. He want to talk some shaman. I try to let you know. And then if this is the well, right let Skype. Him, let him text me now. And I will take his call immediately. 
as you see you just uh, try to text uh, me to call me and I, I call you back i thought you are a muslim oh okay no uh i was talking with him now he's in uh, he's from afghanistan he's living in south korea he told me it's too late i'm gonna sleep it but uh, i'm glad that i know this is the All real right, no skype problem. of you okay my friend and then we are proud of you thank you CP. Th thank you take care all right yeah any muslim my friend don't you want to go to heaven and get the versions what's wrong do you know how many versions allah will increase in your bank account if you call me and defend allah teaching <laughs> Uh, let's see. <coughs> you are calling a person. He tried to call me. Let us see. It's not working. Oh, look like he's trying to call me and I'm trying to call him. Jibril is not connecting us, brother. <coughs> hello? Yeah, hello, TV. Yes, my friend, you are trying to call me, right? Yeah, yeah, I try to call you. Yeah. All right, how I can help you? How are you, CP? I'm fine. You are a Muslim? No. Uh, wait one second. <coughs> oh, hello, CP. Hello, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a Muslim, CP. You know me very well. I know you? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I, because, you know, there's tens of thousands uh, tried to contact me and call me, so I don't know. I don't remember people. So go ahead. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Muhammad? Uh, oh, no, nothing to be. Go on. Uh, you, you were uh, discussing about something, right? Yeah, I was discussing about chapter, three, chapter 2, verse number 31, where the God of Islam, he said that uh, yeah. uh, the angels are not uh, truthful. He accused them to be a bunch of liars. What is your comment about this? Where does it say that they lie? It never says anything about lying at all. Where? I just told you, chapter 2, verse number 31. Yeah, I know. I am seeing the verse here. Yeah. So it doesn't say anything about lies. Where does it well, say it says clearly, lies? if you are truthful. You know, you say that you, if you are truthful, if you are lying. If I say to you, you say something no. to me, and then I say back, well, no. say those things if you are truthful. Okay, let us see. So if they are truthful, yeah. they will be if able... If you know, yeah. hmm. in, another, in another word, it says that if you know, it means like that. No, no, it doesn't say if you know. It no, never don't, says don't, anything about... Don't change the word of Allah, otherwise Allah will, will, will chop your private part. Don't do that. No, but it, it never says, no, no. Don't you're add accusing words. Me of doesn't, say, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't say what you are saying. No, I can show you the reference for the private part. Everything I say, I can prove it. So listen, if you are a truthful, if you are a truthful, if you are a truthful, he did not say if you are right. He did not say if you know better. He no. says if you are a truthful. Does that it say if you are truthful or not? Yeah, fine. Okay. But does it say uh, that you're lying here? It is not. You're adding stuff here. What? That's clear to see. What, what? It, does, it, it doesn't say that the angel lied here. There no, is it no does. It like does. That. I don't know. Like, you speak English or not. If I say to you, if you are truthful, that's mean if you are truthful, prove it. And he proved them wrong. He okay. said to them, he said to them, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful, which mean if you are a person who is saying the truth, tell me the name of those yeah. things. And by the way, that you prove that you are truthful. They could not. So they are not a truthful. No, they didn't say anything right there. No, to it say says, a lie, they didn't say anything. It, it says, okay. what do you mean, okay, what the, what the truthful mean? What is the opposite of truthful? Go ahead. Fine, I'll agree to that, but it never says anything about lies, Abdul, right? Abdul, Muhammad, what is the opposite of uh, a truthful? 
What is the opposite of truthful? If I put if, if I put if, if I say if you are clean, that's mean I am accusing you not to be clean. Prove me wrong. If I say if you are right, that means I'm accusing you to be wrong. Prove me wrong. If I am saying if you are, uh, uh, you know, uh, rich, if you are poor, that's mean I'm accusing you of the opposite. So I'm asking you, what the opposite of it truthful? Um. In this in this context, okay, fine. I'll agree with you. I'll agree with you saying that uh, this might be saying that opposite of truthful is lies. Okay, how does it apply to, apply in this? Okay, well, Allah he told them uh, when they said to him that uh, Adam will do mischief, man. Allah yeah. he did not agree with them, and he decided oh. to to uh, to to show them that they are not telling the truth. How he taught Adam all the names. And then he placed the name, those things in the front of the angels, and he said to them, uh, "Okay, you accuse Adam of doing mischievement." And he, he told them previously, "I know what you know not." So he's accusing them that they are short of knowledge. Number one. Then he's accused them not to be truthful. And then after he placed the things in the front of them, he said, "Okay, give me the names of those things." After he taught Adam the names, the angels they failed. Okay, okay, see. Hmm. okay see, just give me a second. Yeah, just give me a second. Just put it in mute. I'll just come back. Okay. Well, there's a Muslim coin, okay, us. We'll we'll, we will take that Muslim enter your call. <coughs> I think Mansour, uh, Mansour is calling. <coughs> sound of the ringing so it doesn't bother you guys this guy is not answering what happened he just called me a second ago Let us call him again. Oh. He is not answering. We will leave him a message. All right. You notice the second we put him in the corner, he says, okay, I will be back. What he will do? He will go now and search in Google, Prophet Google, Prophet Yahoo, Prophet uh, my friend, Prophet my sheikh, uh, Prophet Ibn Kathir, Prophet potato tomato, but the verse is so clear. He have to go, you know. Go where? It says, if you are truthful, in Arabic it says, in kuntum sadiqeen. Sadiqeen is the opposite of liars. As simple as that. The God of Islam, he don't have decent angels. They are a bunch of a fraud. The one who carry on the job of Allah, the one who delivered the Quran, the one who delivered the message of Allah, they are corrupt creatures. And remember the important about this, the verse is not accusing one angel to be bad. That was for the whole angels, no exception. The angels, they said to Allah, are you going to create somebody? The angels, not one angel. Are you going, you know, he's speaking to them, they are answering him. They said to him, are you going to place somebody who will shed the blood? And guess what? The angels, actually, they are the ones who are truthful in here in the story because Allah is the fool. Yes, Adam, he was kicked out of heaven and he was doing mischief. And him and his children after that.
Do we have any Muslim? Let us try to call this guy again one, one more time. Okay, Mr. Mansoor is not answering. This he decided to take a to take a hike, no problem. Who is next? The funny is when the Muslim they say to you, it doesn't say that CP. Like what the heck? <laughs> it doesn't say that CP. Hello. Ah, yes, yes Muhammad. Go ahead. So, did you, yeah, get, did you get me the answer? I just, uh, for that, yes. Sure, go ahead. Hmm. What is the answer? Go ahead. <coughs> yeah, no, I don't say anything about the uh, lies there. So, what? Just, if you are truthful, if you know, if you are truthful, then you can say it. But it never accuses the angels of lying there. So, are they truthful or not? This is the question. Um, they don't know. Don't don't say don't know. The question is no, very simple. Is Allah He said, if you are truthful, the answer is: Are they truthful or they are not truthful? Um, uh, again, see, uh, 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 you know, don't, don't you know? You don't again me. I want an answer. Oh. Are they truthful? Okay, this... No, no, no. I don't do those things. You know, you can you can do it in the Islamic channels. Like you know, you know, you know, see, I know Muslims. They will never answer I... anything. You see, you cannot. No stems cannot play games with me. You have to give me an answer. Are they truthful or they are not truthful? Nobody's playing games. You just show me the verse again. That's all. Are they truthful or not truthful? Hello. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Hmm. You need time yeah, to think. Just, uh, do, you, do you need to call a friend? Do you, why you don't call your sheikh to no, call no. me? Why you don't call your sheikh? Let us let us do this. Call your sheikh no, immediately see, and let let him join us our conversation. What do you think? Yeah, I'm here. No, that's more than enough. No, let's continue. Oh, you are more than enough. Are you a sheikh yourself? No, uh, I'm not a sheikh. I, I, so why I'm you are saying so... you are more than enough? That means if you are not a sheikh, that means you are not qualified to teach. We want, oh, why I mean, you don't why you don't call a sheikh? What you will lose if we call a sheikh? Even a layman can teach anybody, as long as you know something. So you don't have to... Oh, you know something. Things. Okay, then give me the answer. A very simple question you are not answering for the last 15 minutes. Uh, is, are they truthful or not? Yeah, just let me see one second. Ah, let, let us see. Yeah, one second. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, again, I just, uh, again, just... I don't do that. Don't give me the alphabet. A, B, B, o, A, 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 B, C, D, of A, G. What is the answer? Are they truthful or not? No, it's it's never... It, it's never uh, 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 this is not the question. Uh, 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 not the question. Are they truthful or not? Uh, are they truthful or not? Uh, they don't know. That's all. That's no. That, that okay. 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 Take a hike. Take a hike. I mean, look at this. You're talking to a bunch of kids. They don't know. What is this? They don't know. If they don't know, Allah should tell them. You do not know. That's it. He said, you, "If you are truthful." Look like our friend here, Abdul from India or Pakistan. He speak better Arabic than Allah. Aman Rabbi Aman. Allah, he don't speak Arabian Aman. It says, فَقَالَ فَقَالَ أَنْبِئُونِي بِأَسْمَائِهُ لَا إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ If you are truthful, as simple as that. Look how simple the question and look how big the problem. And they say to you that the Quran is a miraculous book when the Quran is a, is a, is a mockery, is a joke. Call your sheikh. I know better than my sheikh. I do not need a sheikh. This is very simple. 
Okay, now the only way we can fix this, if we take that verse out and we change the word, maybe truthful, make it if you are, mm, if you are cute, that will make it better. Or if you are, if you are, uh, <clears throat> If you are, uh, uh, you know, if you are Muslims, <laughs> you see how very simple a question can destroy this stupid cult. It's just a stupid cult. It's the most stupid cult ever. You know, the funny is they say it's it's, it's some some. Uh, you know, I I hear some comments of uh, sometimes even Christians. They make silly comment. You know, the, the, not only Muslims, they make silly comment, even Christians. Christians, they make a lot of silly comment, especially the ignorant one. Uh, that Islam, uh, you know, is, uh, is, uh, is hard to, uh, uh, to prove, uh, uh, like, you know, Islam, like in Muhammad, he was so deceiving, so he make it hard for us to prove it wrong. That's false. Islam is the most silly, stupid religion. We just started reading the Quran. I can go to the first page in the Quran and start laughing right away. You know, when I was a kid, I asked the teacher, you know, just in early age. He said, Bismillah al-Rahman al-Rahim, Alhamdulillah al alamin I said, okay, sir, who is the one is talking? He said, Allah. He said, so why Allah says Alhamdulillah? And why Allah is saying Bismillah? The teacher, he said, you are a Christian, right? I said, yeah. He said, so why are you asking? Like, what the heck? I mean, do you see how the answer come like a missile? Since then, I'm convinced. That's it. That they refuted me. The teacher, I'm, I'm so little, little child, you know, asking a question. I want to know. I mean, okay, if Allah is talking, how in the world Allah says in the name of Allah? Especially in the same day we were talking about using the word in the name, which means speaking about, you know, I am presenting somebody else. So if Allah is talking, why Allah saying in the name of Allah? Who is the one talking there? Is an angel, which is the Quran accused to be a liar, as we saw in the other chapter, chapter number two, verse number 31. Or this is Allah words. If the angel is saying in the name of Allah, that will make sense. But that will not make the Quran the word of Allah. That will make it the word of the angel, which Allah accused already to be a liar in chapter 2, verse number 31. Are you getting my point? Who is next? Anyone? Hmm? After I hang up, the Muslim, they will give you their comment. What is the answer for what Christian Prince he said? Look, like this. This man is the biggest deceiver I ever have heard. I have ever heard. Okay. <laughs> Get me busted. <laughs> or a guy who will make a video, lie number 100, uh, 120, 140, 100 number 80. But yet they don't dare to call me and quote one lie of me. Do you see how much lying? I, I'm showing in the screen what I am saying. I'm just reading it. And they say you are a liar. Who wants some coffee with me? Hey, family, do you enjoy the, your time with the, uh, your brother Christian Prince? Do you enjoy it? If you enjoy it, don't forget to give us a like because they told me I have to remind people to give a like or dislike. For If you are a Muslim, give us a dislike, please. I mean, bless us with dislike. Don't forget. And don't forget to curse me in the comment later, please. You know, because it's like, I feel like it's like birthday. You're like, yeah, you know, I did something, you know. <laughs> because the second they curse you, it's mean you are really saying the truth. You know, the devil cannot take it. So, does it say there if you are a truthful or I'm making things up? Hmm? Anyone? 
who is a Muslim, he have the courage and the knowledge to call us. Where is the Sheikh? Ibn Betato, Ibn Tomato, all of them they are Ibn. But we do not know their father. Muhammad himself was born four years after his father. And the funny, the Muslim, they say, Christian Prince, you do not know who is your father. It's for trying to insult me. My friend, it's your books which mention that your prophet Muhammad, he was born four years after his uncle, which is supposedly the both fathers of those two boys, they married in the same night. The difference is that Muhammad father, he passed away three months after. So how he was born four years after? If you are truthful. Mm -hmm. Any Muslim? And by the way, in case you don't believe me, you see the Muslim, they make tons of videos about uh, science in Islam, right? <clears throat> Let me see if I can find... I, by the way, I got a new keyboard now, and I'm not used to it, so I'm hitting the wrong ones. Okay. Oh, we have uh, uh, the lady, her name is uh, Darax. How are you, Darax? Hello. Hello. Um. I saw your text the other day in the comment. You're accusing me to be a big, Wait, big liar. Second. I cannot hear you. Sorry. Oh, you cannot hear me. Okay. <coughs> Do you hear me now? Um, no, one second. So how you can hear me? You cannot hear me, but you can answer me. Yeah, I can hear you. Now. That's a miracle. Hmm. Okay. Well, so I just so, wanted to answer your. No, okay. yeah, yeah. Before before you start, please. I saw many yeah. comments of you in the in the comment section in the previous videos accusing me to be a liar. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Why? Why I'm liar? Go ahead. Did Did you see my last message to you? You You told the people that Muslims can lie to you, like knowing that they're actually lying, like. That's such a that's such a big lie. Show okay, them the let us let us, let us let us examine this if you Muslims can lie to us or not. Do you want to take a challenge between me and you? No, but I just want to answer your your. Thing okay, about, go. Like, but remind me then before we finish to go to the to the uh, Muslims can lie to us and there is no question about that. Go ahead. No, what are we talking about now? We're talking about the the verse about um, if they're true chapter or two. Or? Yeah, chapter two, verse number okay. thirty-one. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> in this verse, listen. In this verse, it's talking about um, the absolute truth, right? Because Allah is knowledgeable. He's all powerful, and He knows that which is, that which was, and that which will be. So He's asking them, "Do you have the absolute truth that I know? The absolute um, mm. reality that is clear to me?" And it's not asking them about, oh, are you liars or not? So you are kind of really, um, you know, twisting the truth here. It's not asking about the angels. So uh, do you think the reliable. angels, okay, do you think the angels were doing the same as I'm doing, accusing me now, twisting the truth because the angels accuse Adam of mischievement? Allah, he answered them because if you are saying the truth, that Allah is not saying to them, you are liars. Right. That's mean so, Allah, that's so mean Allah, hold on, them, you know, give you time to answer. Right. Let, so let me talk, let me talk, let me talk. They don't have the truth that he has. Okay, guys, <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. He, Allah, he is telling them, you don't have the truth which I have. The absolute truth, it's not asking about, look, listen, it's not asking about whether or not they're, they're lying, they're deliberately um, hiding the truth. Hmm. It's asking them, do you know the absolute truth that I know? Oh. It's not uh, so, um, you know, like so, this makes sense. So should we, should we correct? Not. Okay, should we correct the Quran and add the word absolute truth? Because obviously the Quran is missing no, that you word. You have to understand this from the context, right? Like where, not where? the context says, if you are truthful, if I'm saying to you, okay, I will make a sentence for you. You say the okay. Christian prince is a liar. Give me your proof if you are truthful. What does that mean? I <laughs> what? What? 
I ju you just say you to know, me that the Christian lie. prince, you just say the Christian prince is a liar. I say to you, bring your proof if you are truthful. What does that mean? That means I'm accusing you to be a liar, not me. Yeah, but this is two humans talking to each other. Like, doesn't, matter. doesn't matter, doesn't uh, matter. This is the language no, of the human. God talks your about God, truth, Allah, God is hold, hold on. God is two human, two so human, two chicken, two potato, two tomato. This is the language, and the language is no. so clear. Hold on, no. you, it's not humans you. This, this is the language of the human. Your God, God Allah, uh, your God Allah is an Arab man. He is using the language of the <laughs> Arab man. Uh, is Allah speaking Arabic here or he is speak, he's speaking a language which you do not know? This is Arabic. So Allah is saying to them, if you are truthful, that means they are not true. Okay, let me make the question simple. Are they truthful or not? I am truthful. What do you mean? Like, are, are they you asking truthful? If... The angels. Are, Allah said to them, if you are truthful, they, are, the... they don't have. This is exactly. not the question. This is not the question. Are they? This is not the question. Are they truthful or not? Are they, are they truthful or not? Mm hmm. In the sense that you're asking, they're truthful, yes. So, they will so, never... Okay, like, guys, they are the truthful, yes. That means Allah is not a tru truthful because no, Allah no, is a challenge in them. I'm, Allah I'm, is a challenge in them. Allah is a... Oh, hold on, hold on. Allah is a challenge in them if you are a truthful. So if the, as long as they are a truthful, that means Allah, he lost. What? Sorry. And what? Sorry. Allah lost the argument. You just said they are truthful. So Allah is a stupid. Yeah. Allah said to them, if you are truthful, and we discovered from, from no, our, our no, friend here. Teaching, listen, everybody heard you. Everybody heard you. They are truthful. Be my witness. They are truthful. Did you say they are truthful or not? They are truthful in a sense that you're asking. Don't tell me a sense. Don't tell me a sense. Are they truthful or not? Don't, don't add word. Don't add word in the sense in a sense in no, a sense. No, no. Listen, listen, saying... listen, listen. This is not a makeup you use in the front of your mirror to make yourself look pretty. <laughs> this is Quran. So don't make put makeup in the top of it. I'm asking you now. Are they truthful or not? You said the, yes, they are. That means Allah is a stupid because He accused them not to be truthful. That's according to you, sir. Huh? It's uh, you're you're just you're you're translating. Uh, you're trying to understand the verse out of context. I am not understanding the verse as it, the says. Even this one with the context. I mean, listen, listen. Truth. All the chapter Allah, there in the front of us. What out of context? Truth here. I I don't understand don't why. Don't keep you don't, talking. Like, don't keep talking. Hold on. Listen. Listen. So, so I want to make it clear. Are they truthful? Final. Are they truthful or not? Don't add in a sense. I don't have the absolute that Allah this is has. not the question. The, the absolute truth. Yes. What is the ch garbage? I, I, what absolute? They did not have the absolute garbage. truth, guys. They did not have the absolute truth. So, okay, I will go with you just to show everybody how how low IQ those who try to defend the Quran. You just say they uh, don't have the absolute truth. Did you say that or not? Yeah, I just did. Yeah. Okay, that means they lie when they say it. Are you going to place somebody will do mischief, man? Because no, they but, don't have the knowledge and the truth that Allah so has. You don't have That's the knowledge. How do you make such an accusation then? That means they are fabricating the news. Are you going to place somebody who will do mischievement? Not my, maybe he will do mischievement. He will do mischievement. He will do bloodshed. They confirm that he will do that. So the angels, you said they are truthful. Allah is saying to them, you don't have the absolute truth according to you. But the angels are making a very dangerous statement that Adam, he will do mischief, not maybe. So they claim that they have the truth about Adam. And Allah, he said to them, if you are truthful, and now because you said what you said, Allah is in trouble because Allah now became the liar. Because the angels, they don't have the absolute truth according to you. And yet they oh, are making yes. a statement. So, 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 okay. so the angels, okay, I'll, I'll give you the mic. So the angels, they make the accusation based in the truth they knew or the truth they don't know. The mic is yours. Based on their knowledge that they, clearly their knowledge. If you scroll down and look at the, the next verse, uh -huh. verse 32, it tells them that they don't have the knowledge that he has. So that's basically what he's getting at. I mean, if okay. you just read okay. the... Okay, okay, no, first, first of all, first, fine, hold, on, fine, first, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, no. You see here the angels, after Allah, he get them busted, he told them, okay, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. So Allah, he put the conditions. If you right. are really truthful, then tell me the names of yes, those things. Show them that they okay. really don't know then, the truth that Thank you, has. guys, he showed them. Did you hear her? He showed him that they do not know the truth. So they are not truthful when they made accusation to Adam, correct? 
Uh, like, okay. <laughs> no, 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 sorry, listen. no uh, listen, listen. First of all, first of all, you are not allowed to explain the Quran or Islam because you are a female. And according to your prophet, you are hard to blame. But I, I believe in Allah. I'm, yeah, I'm you, Allah don't believe in Allah. You, are, you don't believe in Allah. You are, you are, you don't believe in Allah. You, you are, you are, you are not a believer in Allah, and I can prove it. Do you want me to prove it to you? <laughs> Okay, prove it to okay. me. Okay. When you called me, you said what? You said Muslims are not allowed to lie, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Why don't you? Why don't you show the hadith that I just sent? I sent you okay. when you were telling but that lie. But your prophet was talking about lying to Muslims, not lying to us. Let us go to the Quran. The Quran says you first, have you I have to lie. First, hold on, hold on. Let us give a proof. Let us give a proof. Let us give a proof. Don't talk too much. Just wait. I will give my proof and I will put your verse in your hadith in front of everybody. Everybody will laugh. Deal? Your right. proof versus my proof. Okay. So this is the Quran. And I'm not going to explain I'm not going to I'm not going to explain the Quran up to me because you Muslims you lie always saying oh this is your interpretation this is your explanation correct all right so here this is the Quran and this is Tafsir Ibn Abbas and this is the cousin of your prophet I want you to read for us what is in the screen please go ahead chapter 3 verse number 28 hmm, it's going to come <clears throat> What, in the meantime, why don't you put the hadith I sent you on the Yeah, screen? we will put the hadith, no problem. Give me the hadith num number the, or the text. I, 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 sent, well, I sent it that day while you were saying that lie. I, that, that day, I sent it again, you know, I have a million uh, texts coming to me. No, no, just check your messages, sir. Okay, I just sent... just give me the hadith now. What you will do, what you will do is just send it to me. I will put it on the screen. I, I'm on my phone, so it's hard. Okay, I after you always... finish, I will put it for you and we will laugh at it. Because here, if Allah, a prophet, he is saying you don't lie, he is speaking not to lie to Muslims, but you can lie as much as you want to non-Muslims. Read it. It says here that the one who take the Christians, who is sincere, to take them as a friend, and he seek might and honor by taking the hypocrites, the endless believers, as a friends, has no connection to Allah, has no honor or mercy or protection from Allah, which means Muslim will kill him. Very, very filthy cult gang religion. But Guard yourself against them. Save yourself from them. Take, taking as it were security. Saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart is like this. Can Muslim lie to us, non-Muslims? Yes. It says it clearly. Disbelievers. If you take them as a friend, Muslims will kill you. They will take your wife. They will rape her. If you are doing it as security, like now this woman, she live in the West. Let us say she live in America. She go to take a passport. She swear, I'm bear arm. I'm going to bear arm to defend my country, USA. Blah 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 blah. And I pledge for that. She is allowed to lie as security because if she say the truth that the Christians and the Jews and the Kuffar and the Buddhists and the Hindus, all of them and the atheists are our enemy. We have to kill them all. Then they, she she will go to jail. So she can lie in Islam as long she is speaking to non-Muslim and the verse in the front of you. Go ahead. Um, mm. Yeah, no, I don't see any of the stuff you just said, though. Like, I, I read it? it. Yeah, you don't see it. Okay, take, take a hike. Guys, guys, you don't see it. I just read it and she don't see it. I just read the whole thing. I put it in the screen. She don't see the stuff I am saying. She cannot see it. Where? Where? It's not there. <laughs> Can you see it or you cannot see it? Can you see it? I don't, have, I don't have time for kids. I don't have time for kids. Can you see it or you cannot? No, I see it. I okay, see so what you are saying you can't see it. Does it say you can speak to them in a friendly way while your heart is like this? Does it say that or not? You can, you can what? You can, you can what? You can speak to them in a friendly way while uh, your heart is like this. So in the word, you are friendly. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Okay. Is there some... Uh -huh, uh -huh. So you come to a Christian person or a Hindu person or an atheist person and you say, oh, we are friends. Yeah, but does it not say saving yourselves from them? 
right? Exactly. So, so there, saving yourself, some, okay, hold on, no, take it. Line. Listen, listen, take there's it as, as no, no, listen, listen. Those people, they want to take you as a friend. Saving yourself from what? How? They want to take you as a friend. The Quran saying, don't take them as a friend. They are not enemy. They don't want to kill you. They are. The Quran is warning you. Hold on, hold on. Stop being, stop, stop being a Balbula. The Quran saying, don't take them as a friends. So those are not enemy for sure because they want to take you as a friend. So, but you can take them as a friend, as if it's security, speaking to them in a friendly way, which means as security, as if you are under a threat, but it does not, and it's not because they want to take you as a friend. If I want to take you as a friend, uh, if I want to take you as a friend, obviously I'm not going to kill you because I want to take you as a friend. Quran forbidding you from that in order saying, okay, you can't take him as a friend if you mean it, but if you are lying to them, you can do that. That's not my understanding, but I Who don't care about like your understanding. Here, like, this is the interpretation. This is the interpretation yourself. made by the cousin of Muhammad, the highest scholar of Islam in Abbas. Yeah, but the fact that it says in that same thing you're showing me it does say that saving yourselves from them. Okay, no, as, 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 so it wear you save as, 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 as it wears security, saving yourself from them. Yeah, because if you say the truth, if you say, if a Muslim he live in USA and he say, hey, we love to kill all the American, then he will be in trouble. So this is an act of security. The only time you can say it, like we are friends, if you are weak, this is why it's called taqiyya, protection. So if you are weak and you are not the superpower, if I live in Saudi Arabia, a Muslim will say to me, yeah, we hate you, we wanna kill you, etc." But they will not dare to say that uh -huh. the same thing if they are not in Saudi Arabia. So when the Muslims are supreme in, the, in, the, in, the, in, in control, then they will say to you the truth. Yeah, Islam wanna kill everybody. Did your prophet say I've been ordered to kill all mankind until they convert to Islam, yes or no? kill all mankind yes all mankind with no exception no i've never heard of this okay let's see because we need to connect the dots and by the way everybody you haven't confused me with this one because if it says saving yourself okay hold on yeah saving yourself yeah saving yourself if muhammad is the aggression how he can save ourselves so muslims this is when muslims are weak in a week they cannot have they have no control they are allowed to lie if they are living in a Muslim controlled country, they will not say that to us. They will say you are you are najis, you are filthy, they will spit at us. Go and read the Pact of Amr and see what they are allowed to do to the Christian and the Jews according to the Pact of Amr. Now read with me. This is your prophet saying, if you I've been ordered to kill all the people, commanded to kill all people. Here it says uqatil, which means fight to kill, not just fight. And they testify there's no God but Allah and the Muhammad is his messenger. And they have to perform the salat, which means they have to pray, and they have to pay the money. And then and only then they will save their, they will have their protection of their blood and their property from me. Muhammad is a gang. Does it say that? Yeah, no, I, I am reading it, yeah. Mm. So what does that mean? Muhammad is a gang member. He's like Holako. He want to control all the earth until they believe in him. You believe in me or you die. Not him, Allah. But no, it yeah, says I, him. No, he associate. Muslims are mushrikeen. They associate, and Muhammad himself, he associate his name with the name of God, his God. He don't say if you believe in Allah and you, you pray to Allah. No, you have to believe in Allah and to believe in me. And then and only then I have, I will give you protection from being killed. Correct? Mm. Yeah. Hmm. What about do you do you like to, do you like uh, to bring somebody? What do you what do you think if you saw somebody in a chain around his neck? What? Sorry. What do you think about somebody like? You still haven't shown them the hadith. Oh, I will show them the hadith. Here I will go. No, I, I promise you, I will show them the hadith. But your hadith is not valid, my friend, sure. because because well, okay. Don't let, lie. Let, let me show you your hadith, and everybody will laugh at your hadith. Oh, actually, I had something okay, to ask. Okay, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Here we go. I will show the hadith. Here we go. This is your hadith. Huh? Yes. Okay. Showed. Here we go. Thank you. Hmm. This is the hadith you gave me. Correct. Uh, no, I don't see it. One second. It mm. takes time to. The major sin as are associating other with Allah, disobeying yep. parents, killing soul, murder, and swearing a false 
knowingly, false oath knowingly, yeah. correct? Okay. Yep. Well, this yeah. you, you just gave me a great tool to make your Muhammad a joke for the coming century. Let us read How? this one. Okay, I, I will change my topic just for you. Guys, did she say that, that she is the one who provide me this? That the biggest sin yes. is giving a false oath. So you cannot. So you cannot. Take hold, a on, hold 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 on. You see, you see, your prophet is the biggest joke ever, because uh, if actually, if the actually, if the biggest if if the big if, if the biggest sin don't talk when I'm talking. I will give you the mic. Okay. If, okay. If, okay. If yes. the biggest sin is you take a false oath, correct? So how the Quran says Allah will not take you accountable in chapter 2, verse number 2 to okay. 5. Okay, yes, great. Mm -hmm. Thank you for asking me that. Mm -hmm. So there it's it's talking about an oath that you took out of um, haste or being foolish. Like it's talking about a foolish oath. It's not about, you know, a foolish lying oath. straight okay. up. It's, it's well, not lying let us, let it, Okay, yeah. guys, a foolish oath is to take an oath you don't mean. That's when you are lying. This is a foolish oath anyway. No. So look at this. The biggest sin, the biggest sin is to take a false oath. The, the biggest sin. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me an example of a foolish oath. Go ahead. A foolish oath? Uh -huh. Um. Yeah, for example, if I have some habits, you know, and I say, you know, I'm ne I'm never going to do this, and I swear this by the name of Allah okay. that I will never do it, mm -hmm. and then I fail and do it, okay. then, you know, this is an oath that I I wanted to keep, I sincerely wanted to keep, but uh -huh. I failed. So that's the sort of foolish oath. Okay. And another foolish oath from the Bible, let me, let me get that for mm. you, Judges uh, chapter 11, uh, mm. <laughs> verses 31 to 37, mm -hmm. it talks about a man who goes to war, right? Mm -hmm. And he, he, he makes an oath to your God that mm -hmm. he's going to sacrifice the first thing that comes out of his house mm -hmm. if he wins the war. Mm -hmm. And then he happens to win the war. Mm -hmm. So when he comes back home, his daughter comes out to greet him and he's distraught. He's really upset that it's mm -hmm. his daughter. Mm -hmm. And he ends up sacrificing her. He ends up burning her. Mm -hmm. What barbarism is this? You know, like if this man was a Muslim, he wouldn't have to go through all that. Okay. He would have just, no, just, to, just to show you that you, you just to show you your hypocrisy. First, the I example, hold on, hold on, hold on. The example you showed me, hold on, hold on. Shut up your mouth. Let me talk. The example you showed me in the Bible proved that the Jews are very decent people because even it is her daughter. Just, you are saying it's a barbaric, right? You are saying it's a barbaric. It's it is. It is barbaric. okay. It yeah, is okay. It, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just be. Don't be stupid like Aisha. Listen. So the guy, he is so decent to the point when he take an oath, even it was her his daughter. Look how decent he is. You want to say barbaric? You want to say whatever? This is your this is your opinion. But at the end of the day, the guy he keep his promise to God. That's mean they are very very faithful with their oath muslims they can take oath left and right and they don't mean it they don't mean it anything they say it's a lie we just again speaking about lies muslim they take an oath and they lie about it muhammad he gave, he took an oath that he will not sleep with mary the cook correct uh, wait what? sorry wait, muhammad he took an oath to his wives aisha and hafsa that he will never take he will never sleep with mary the cook his slave and then two days after he got horny, he wanna sleep with her. And then Allah he sent him a verse saying, Oh, Allah will not uh, you know Allah will release you from your oath. What kind of religion this religion is? So you just gave me an example. A man from the Bible, he is making a promise to God. Anything he will see the first thing he will see, he was expecting a goat, he was expecting a horse, he was expecting something like that. The first thing he see when he go out of his door, he will slaughter as a sacrifice for the victory. It was his daughter, and this is why it was a foolish oath, right? But still he is not a bad person, for he is a decent person keeping the oath to God. This is how much serious this oath is. But for Muslims, they can take oath as much as they want. They can so swear to the right. Hold on. Yes. Because, because Allah is Satan, he don't care for your oath. You can use the name of your God in vain, but in Christianity you cannot. Read me carefully. Read carefully. Allah does not take you to, take you to task for your oath which is made unintentionally but he does take you to ta to, ta to task for the oath you ratify i don't know what the translation here is saying so listen so allah as long as you are taking an oath you don't mean it <laughs> 
it's okay. <laughs> but all liars, but all liars, they don't. All liars, they don't mean their oath. Have you ever have ever heard of an of a liar? Have you ever heard of a liar? He mean his oath. So Islam is created for lies. Let let me ask you: Can the man lie to his wife in Islam? Wait, sorry again. Can so, the man it... can the man lie to his wife? Uh no, I I would I would think not. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What if this is true, that you can lie? Lie to your wife, knowing that you're lying. What? Are you asking that a man can lie to his wife, knowing yes. that he's lying? Or yes. What? Yes. There you ask. Yes. Yeah, no, I don't think that's allowed. It couldn't be. No, I'm asking you: is it is it uh, is it good or satanic to lie to your wife? A man lying to his wife. Bad. It's bad. It's bad. So, is it satanic? Yeah. Is it what? Is it satanic to lie to your wife? I, I think that's a bit extreme. I mean, people lie for whatever reason, but you know, like lying okay. is bad. So yes. it's an extreme satanic. Yeah. So it's an extreme satanic. Thank you. No, no, not satanic. I didn't. Say so that. it's uh, so isn't it lies coming from shaitan? Is lies coming from Allah or from who? It is, but humans are fallible too. So like, no, no, no just this is not a question. When, when somebody he lie. When somebody he lie, is that a good from Allah or bad from Satan? It's bad. From Satan, correct? Yeah, lies are... Okay, yeah. thank you. Here we go. It's not lawful to lie except in three courses. Something the man he tell his wife to please her. <laughs> and I can show you the fatwa where a woman she she is an American she married a Jordanian guy. She asked him, my husband he didn't lie to me. He is married in Jordan, and he told me always he is. I am the only one he is married to. He said to her, first you have no right to ask him why he is if he is married or not. Secondly, he, it's okay for him to lie to you. And you say this is satanic. So now your husband, he will marry a second wife. Uh, and you ask him, you ask him. I don't have to Some, uh, something the man tells his wife to please her. Uh. So, yeah, I mean, there are certain lies that, that serve a, a good purpose. You know? Ah, a good purpose. So your husband marry a second wife. It's okay. And that's a good purpose. You ask him, are you cheating on me? He please you. He don't want to no, make you angry. That's a bad thing. Like, I guess this, uh, this hadith um, leaves uh, 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 You said, you said, you said, you said. Right? You, it's you, not very you clear, said, but... you said, and everybody heard you. That lies is from the devil. It's satanic. And doesn't right. matter what kind of lies. No, and now we have, now we that. have, we have a family. This is this is will impact the family structure. If the women are allowed to lie, by, by the way, not only the man is allowed to lie to her, to his to his wife. The woman in Islam, she is allowed to lie to her husband. So a man he can lie, the women she can lie, and Muslims wait, are a bunch of liars. Wait, is that if, wait, what are you showing me? I just saw it on the screen. There you go. It's in the front of me. The narration in Muslim added, this is Sahih. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, uh, so the, the Prophet, he answered her, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, you are, you are allowed to lie. Uh, in the man, he, he speak to his wife and the wife speaking to her husband. Let me show you the exact uh, reference. Do you speak Arabic? I no, that, no, I don't. Oh, okay. Uh, let me let me try to find the hadith in English. Yeah, but for the hadith that you showed me earlier, it's it's talking about lying to please. So I I don't see any problem with that. Actually. Yeah. So your husband he can keep lying to you to please you. Where have you been? Are you like have you been with a woman? He was saying no, I was with my friends. He is pleasing you. Lies is from the devil is satanic and family cannot be built based on liars. What kind yeah, of okay. what kind of family this family will be? 
So now your husband lied to you and you lied to your husband and then the children they lied to the father and the children they lied to their mother because the whole family are a bunch of liars. Welcome to Islam, right? Welcome to Islam. This is what Islam is about. Uh, let us yeah, see. anyway, I, I just wanted to answer your question about the truthful stuff, you know, like... Uh, yeah, but okay, but hold, I, before, before you go, before you go, before you go. So, are they truthful or not? What? Sorry? Are, are they truthful or not? We want to get the final answer from you. Was the angel truthful or not? The angels don't have the absolute truth. And that's the, what the, the, here we go. They have to add the word absolute. They are correct in the Quran. He, did Allah, he said to them, you don't have the absolute truth? When Allah, when okay. absolute did the angel accuse Adam? Did the angel accuse Adam that he would do mischievous? Okay, listen, listen. Allah, he yeah. ordered, okay, just to get you busted for, uh, in two seconds. Did Allah order the angels as a penalty for what they did to bow down to Adam? Yeah, yeah, I think. Okay, yeah. so why he ordered him to go down? Because it was a penalty. Why? Because they accused Adam to do mischievement. Correct? Sorry? Because they accused Adam he would do mischievement, Allah, he ordered him to go down to Adam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She just said, mm -hmm. I mean, what a bunch of kids. No, don't call, no, don't I... call me again. Don't call me again. Mm -hmm. You just get yourself busted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, because they accuse him falsely then. I mean, all this argument, she destroyed it by uh -huh. Where are these kids coming from? Let your parent go talk to me. Let your four husbands speak to me who they are lying to you. And by the way, if your husband come home and he asks you, did you call somebody when I am not home? You can please him and say no. Did you talk to Christian Prince? Somebody said to me that you were talking to him live on air. How many times I said to you, don't do that? No, I, did. I swear by Allah, I did not do that. <laughs> so Allah, he ordered them to bow down to Adam. And she answered, I ask, did Allah order them to bow down as a penalty because they accused Adam to do mischievement? She said, mm-hmm. This is the reason. We have a Muslim, he's a male. Male can do better, maybe. Let us see. Let us see, be sure first, he's a Muslim. If you are a Christian, don't call me, please. Maybe only if you are an ex Muslim. So, do you see how stupid this cult is? They have to add words to the Quran to fix the Quran. They have to lie about the religion to fix the lies of the stupid one who made this religion. Because guess what? When Allah he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam, he committed shirk. Because nobody should bow down to anyone save God. So the first one who commit shirk and he taught shirk, it was Allah. Because bowing down is an act of worship. Bowing down is an act of worship. We have a Muslim from Azerbaijan. Hello. Yes, my friend. Please mute you too. I'm, no, I'm not on YouTube. Okay. So you are a Muslim from Azerbaijan, as I understand? Yes. Okay. Probably. What do you want to say to us, my friend? Go ahead. You know, I, um, I listen to a lot of your videos. Uh, it's first a lot of respect to you, honestly. It's it's a lot of educational stuff. Uh, you, you said something about uh, about uh, that there's that if the that if the woman and the you know the if the woman has the orgasm first, a child will be a boy, mm -hmm. and if the man, it, then will be the opposite. Yeah. Yes. But doesn't this say also in the Bible, in uh, in Leviticus, it talks okay. about it? Tell me, tell me what it says. Give me one second. I had to. <clears throat> oh. 
Okay, get your things ready and call me back or text me back. You don't want to wait forever. You know, and the funny is, my friend, that let us say for the sake of argument, there's different book is saying a mistake, let us say, an error, a stupid thing, let us say, for the sake of argument. That will not change the fact that your book is stupid. So jumping behind the from book will not change it, but we will show everybody if this is true what you are saying or not. You know? Very simple. They go, they search Google, and uh, they try to find things. We don't do that, you know. We, we read here, and even we use your Islamic explanation. Not our understanding. Is that the real CP? Well, these days everything is made in China, to be honest with you. So do you see the stupidity here? Any Muslim? The angels been ordered to bow down, and bowing down is an act of worship. Allah is pagan God. Secondly, angels they accuse Adam falsely, obviously, according to the Quran. But guess what? They did not. It was Allah who is a stupid. He is the one defending Adam, claiming that he know what they do not know, because it turned to be true that Adam would do mischievement and his children would do mischievement too. So who is the stupid here? Who is the stupid one here? Few verses after, actually not even a few verses, just two verses after Allah, he kicked Adam out of heaven. Look at the stupidity. So angels accuse Adam of doing mischievement. Allah got upset. He said, you know, tell me those names if you are truthful. They said to him, Allah, we cannot tell you because we know only what you taught us. And this is show us contradiction because if they knew only what he taught them, then where they got that Adam will do mischievement. You know what I mean? Because they know only what he told them. That means the angels of Allah are more supreme and powerful than Allah. But because maybe Allah is so aggressive and they don't want to fight with him, they said to him, well, we know only what you taught us. But obviously they know more. Because what they said, it was true. And what they said, it was false. Yes, Muhammad. Yeah, hello, Sikhi. Hello. Yeah, I couldn't. Uh, you, you hung up on me last time. Sorry, I didn't understand what? You hung up on me last I, time. You know, I lose my patience, my friend. I mean, I want people. Don't, right, don't add words. Don't add words for, this, for the sake of, of the shin of Allah. Don't add words right, from your own. Don't make things okay, up. You okay. see, if I, add word, if I add a word to the Quran, do you accept that? Um, not from you. So you can add words, I cannot add words. Sure, sure, because it's my book. Oh, you can add you uh, because it's your book. Yeah, I thought I thought this is the book. I thought, guys, me. listen carefully. Because it is his book, he can add word to it. You want an explanation? I'm giving an explanation. No, you don't accept. No, this is not an explanation. You are adding. You are adding. You are adding words. Is not I there. Am not I'm just telling you, it, it may mean that way. If you like it, you can take it. If you don't it's like not it, up to you. Able. It's not up to you. Hold on. Let us, okay, let us go. Let us go. Let us go. Okay, let us go and say, okay. They, so hold, hold on, hold on. Okay, I will add the word absolute. Hold on. I will add the word absolute so before the... You tell me something. Is it up to you? Listen, listen, to, to listen, listen. Okay, I, I will go with you. Hold on. Ah, hold on. Let's okay, I will yeah. say I will say the word you add me, you ask me to add. And you said because it's your book, you can add it. So... If you are having, I will add, if you are having the absolute truth, correct? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh -huh. Still he's accusing them that you don't have the absolute truth. No, no I didn't get to see if you, what is this about? I just uh, came up. You forgot? How old are you? No, I don't know what you're talking about. You forgot the topic? I mean, a second ago you told me about the, what, what's wrong with people? You forgot what the topic is about? 
uh, I know the angels being truthful or not. Is, is it that? Yeah. Yeah, so sure, go ahead. I didn't understand what you're trying to say. Oh, okay. So if we yeah. add, if Allah, he said, if you have okay. the absolute truth, okay, do you, what What the word if mean? I want to go one by one. I want you to teach me grammar. What if, if mean? If I have the absolute truth, what, what does that what mean? Is what is the if mean? What is the if, the word if or letter if? What does it mean? <clears throat> letter F. Uh, huh? Letter F or what? I, F, F. If you are if truthful, it, okay. if, what if mean? Okay. What, what if, if it, intend to do? There may be a chance that you may like. Okay, fine, go ahead. What go ahead? I'm asking you when it says if, okay, what does if, that mean? If, if either this or either that. Okay, go ahead. What go ahead? I'm asking you what if mean? What, what, we use the word if for what? Is that a condition? Yeah, it's a condition. Yeah, that's what. Okay, it's a condition. What is the condition? Condition is if you are truthful. Okay, go ahead. What is the condition? Is what? You're saying what does if mean? It's a condition. Yes. Okay. What is the condition Allah He put in the verse? If it is truthful. Okay. Truthful. Fine, Thank go you. Ahead. So yeah. th there's a ah, condition. Okay, I... So okay. now, okay. Finally, now slowly we were able to make it clear. If you are truthful, that is a condition. And then did they fail okay, the condition? Yes, condition? Did they fail the condition or they were able to prove the condition? And did they fail the condition? Did, did they lie? Did they, did they lie, CP? Okay, did they lie? Okay, when they say that Adam will do mischief, then did they tell the truth or they were not telling the truth? I don't know what that topic is because I didn't follow it up. He don't know your topic. Ooh. This guy, he called me already three times, four times. We talk to him each time like 10 minutes, speaking about the same verse, and he's asking me, I don't know what the topic. Camera, you're in, working. Like, what is the topic? I, I don't know what the topic, right? Where this is coming to me from? What I did? Lord, what I did, what I did, honestly, are you punishing me with those people? I mean, come on, I mean, how slow they are. I mean, what is this? What is the IQ of Allah, the smart nation who worship Allah? Those who kiss the black stone, which make you small, it's black stone, so lovely. So, brother, the black stone smells so good. Hey, Abdul, I saw the guy, the guard next to it, he have a spray in his hand for the bathroom. This is not the smell of the stone. What is the topic? And they say to me, why you hang up on them? I will hang up on myself if I'm like that. And what is killing me, that those people get married and they have the children. I feel sorry for your children, for your wife, or I don't know, how do you live? From which galaxy they are coming? And the other girl, she said, yeah, lying, this is bad, you know, lying. The second we show her that her prophet said that, suddenly lying is good. <laughs> See the hypocrisy? <laughs> and the funny, she said, you are a liar. They keep accusing me that Christian prince is a liar. When lying is the essence of Islam. Because if I can lie to my wife, I can lie to everybody. All lies is made to please, please somebody, don't you know? All lies is made to please somebody. A scammer, he please the victim by saying to him a lie. A fraud, he please the victim so he can accomplish the fraud. Islam is a fraud and no question about it. We have 1,300 people watching. We have only 881 like. Ah, okay, let's practice Islamic taqiyya now. Can you give me a lie? Like, please. Like, hello? To please me? 
So we have now 881 like those are truthful. <laughs> Now it's time to practice lying lie like. <laughs> oh Lord. Uh, I love Muslims really. I feel sorry for them. You know, they think I hate them. I never hate them. I will never hate them. I'm here to serve them actually the same as the Lord. He washed the feet of his disciple. Literally, I'm washing their feet from the devil teaching. There's no God promise women as sex toys in heaven. That's not God. That's that's Satan. You, you, you don't need to be genius. God is holy. His house is holy. How the house of God became the house of pimp? They say to you, Islam is a religion of al fitra. What fitra mean? Fitra means to live like an animal. Literally. Fitra means the way you are born with, with no rules. Cave time. But we don't believe in the cave time. We believe Adam, first time he was created, he'd been given rules. We are not atheists who believe in that. I remember, you know, my mother once she asked our neighbor, she's a nice lady, she's a Muslim lady. You know, all the neighbors, they love my mom, she loved them too. She kept changing her furniture, the couch, the curtain. I mean, my mom, she had the same furniture for years and years and years, and they look brand new. So she asked her, why do you keep changing the furniture? I mean, you just bought it, this one. Is, didn't you bought this uh, you know, uh, set for the living room six months ago? She said, I have to do that. Otherwise, he will save money and he will, he will marry a new wife. Can you believe it? She's right. If her husband get, he saved more money, the first thing he will do, he will not buy a car. He will get a new, brand new, young woman, more beautiful than this older woman. So what she do, she keep asking to spend, change the curtain. They burn the curtain with cigarette. They split some tea and some coffee and some etc. on the couch. They, you know, they, 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 the whole house is in a torture. She do that in purpose because her husband is going to go and get a brand new Billy Dancer. While my mother, she keep every inch of the furniture so clean. Why? Because she knew that her husband is her husband and nothing will change because our marriage is a marriage of a trust it's not a contract for sex temporarily let us see if we have any Abdul maybe we'll take one more call oh we have Mansoor okay Mr. Mansoor Mansoor, oh, this is not his name. Mansoor, Mansoor Farzan. <clears throat> yeah, let him text me, my friend. I'm not going to look for people. <clears throat> okay, our friend here, he gave me the verse. Uh, in the Bible, let us call him. Hello. Hello. So you found the yeah, verse, my friend? No, I I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I I I misread it. Oh, okay. You misread it. Okay, that's no. I I, I accept that you are decent and you say the truth. So. We go back to our topic. So, what do you think about Islam, my friend? I'm, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't listening to your, you know, to the, you know, uh, to the podcast. I was just okay. No, no problem. I want to ask you now about Islam. Anything, whatever you want. Like, what do you think about Islam in general? You are from Azerbaijan, as I understand, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A person who is from Baku, from the heart of Azerbaijan, what do you think about Islam? 
To be honest, um, because we, I, I, I guess because we lived under the Soviets, yeah. it was different because you had a mix of everybody, you know, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, everybody was living there. Hmm. It was, it was more like brotherhood. Everybody was, was friends. We didn't have any problems with anybody. Hmm. So, and we just, you know, we went to the mosque because, you know, our family went. Yeah, but what do you think yourself about Islam? So uh, in the time of the atheist, everybody was a friend. Yeah. After the yeah. atheist left, everybody is an enemy. Yeah. So Islam came, peace is gone. Islam leave, people are living in peace. So why you don't leave Islam, my friend? I think because I'm just uh, connected to the family. I'll be honest, I lived in a couple of years in uh, in Israel, so I have a lot of Jewish friends, and I lived in America. Yeah, so you know, I've been I, know, with... I know that there's a strong relationship between Israel and Azerbaijan, which I find a, a kind of a hypocrisy between um, a Shia Muslim country and a Jewish country suddenly they became so close to each other to the point they go in a war with Armenia right so yeah so yeah. the the Jews they are supporting the Muslims in Israel I'm talking about the Jews in Israel supporting the Muslim army in Azerbaijan to attack the Christian army in Armenia how that work what do you think I don't think they're supporting them uh financially or with uh, oh, no no not supporting functionally you don't need money you have the oil they are supporting them simply by giving them weapon I correct know. yeah you I mean know. listen most no I'm being honest I, I don't anyway, forget about are, forget about yeah. politics now forget about the Jews forget about Azerbaijan forget what do you think about Muhammad I don't think he uh, definitely not yeah he's definitely not a prophet Thank you very much. You just, you just left Islam, my friend. I'm happy for you. What do you think about Thank Christ? You. What do you think about Christ then? As long as you decide to leave Islam. I'm going to be honest. I've been kind of juggling, you know, Judaism and Christianity back, you know, back and forth for the past maybe two years. Okay. I, everyone knows that I, you know, started listening to your videos. I, I read a lot of books on Christianity and Judaism. I just, and everyone kind of knows. I mean, living in america it's not it's not crazy if if i would leave the religion you know hmm. and even in baku people don't really care okay so now you are you are out of islam what do you think about accepting christ as your lord what do you think it's hard to say because i i, I have my doubts and i and i don't know if, if it's christianity or if it's judaism i know it's one of those two i just don't know which one is hmm. okay well Okay, so did you like just today now, you decide to say to me now, like life on air, that you don't think Muhammad is a prophet or this is something, a decision you took from before? I knew from before because, you know, like I said before, you are very educated and I, and I thank you, you know, for, you know, for all the work you do. So did uh, I help you in my, in my watching my videos? You've been, yes, this, huh? 100%. And okay. sorry, I, I sound a little... Um, a little maybe emotional because it was you're honestly speaking you're you are like a hero of mine because if it wasn't for you i would have been stuck and doing the you know these you know these you know having these beliefs in my head yeah you don't want to have your penis endless right <laughs> sorry for saying the word but this no, is how no, it is. it's okay it's, yeah. it's okay it's yeah. all right this is how it is you know ugly and evil and stupid yeah. at the same time it's very stupid but uh, I think the problem is that a lot of Muslims are good people, and especially the ones who are not following Islam. They call themselves Muslims, but they don't follow anything. But you see, decent people. our problem is not with the people as much as with the religion. So why people they do things, bad things, because they are following certain religion. That is the story, right? Yeah. Why yeah, somebody? 100%. Why somebody join Al Qaeda because he is following? Islam, not because he is a bad person. Islam made him bad person. So the second right. you decide to follow Islam step by step, as Muhammad did, then you find yourself became or become a terrorist. Yeah. If Muhammad says, "I've been ordered to kill all mankind," and your prophet is the best example, you do what the prophet did. 
but that's wrong. That's wrong because I remember even in Baku when we had problems with the Armenians, uh, there were Jews that were protecting Armenians and there were Armenians that were protecting uh, our people and our people. Were, it was just like everyone was was united. It, well, you, it see, wasn't... you see, I have no problem to have millions of friends from Muslims. Why not? But right. when I read the Quran saying that Muslim can take Christians and Jews as a friends only if they are lying to them. How I can trust anyone to be my friend? You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. 100%. Because because right. even the one who give me, uh, you know, he's he called me. How are you? Are you sick? Are you okay? Even the one who might come to help me in something, he might be lying to me. Of course. Because what is the guarantee that this person will not go back home and read the Quran and see? Oh. I can take them as a friends only if I'm lying to them. Otherwise, you sound you sound a very nice person. Let us say you are you did not leave Islam yet, and I met you somewhere. Yeah. And look, this person is wonderful. And then he said to me, "Hey, uh, Christian, I want to be your friend." I will think one hundred times before I take you as a friend. To be honest, because you are a Muslim, mm. and Muslim mean to believe in the Quran, and the Quran saying you cannot take them as a friend. So what do you mean? Then I find a solution. Chapter 3, verse 28 says, you can lie to them, speaking to them in a friendly way while your heart is like this. Mm. You know? Yeah. But a Christian, um, but a Christian mm -hmm. he cannot do that to you. Christian, he cannot do that to you. He cannot lie to you. He could not, he couldn't, you know, I'm talking about really Christian. But my friend, let know? me ask you a question, if you don't mind. Sure. Doesn't it say that if one does not believe in uh, Jesus, uh, will be... Uh, Eternity in hell. Sure, everybody. This so, is not. This is not only for for a certain person or certain group. Even Christians, you know, even the ones who claim to believe in Jesus, if they don't believe in Jesus for real, because there's many are hypocrite. You know, they take a benefit of something. So, believing in Jesus is the condition to go to heaven or not in Christianity. Absolutely. I was listening to this one Christian guy, and he said that. Uh, for the Jews is different because they are God's chosen people, hmm. and the Christians are will be um, what did he say? They will be grafted in with the covenant with the Jews. So, no. so you if see, the Jews no, no. that's not you see, true. You see, he he speak about the the certain number, and there's a certain small number of the Jews. Those are from before Jesus. You know, those are the people who they were waiting for Jesus. Jesus did not come in their time. So they didn't get the chance to believe or not to believe. They believe still in Jesus. They are waiting for him, but they died and they are still waiting for him before the coming of Jesus. So, you know, so, if, some, if some Christian, he says something, you know, this is their, this is their interpretation. And it is, I, I, I guarantee you, it's false because the Bible says it clearly. Jesus said, not I mean, not, not just a, a person said, you know, that I am the way. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the door. I am the life. I am the resurrection. So all those things have to be happened by Jesus, not not by anyone. So believing in anything, but you don't believe in the in the Messiah, the Christ, who came to this earth, will not take you to heaven. You are a Jew. You are a Hindu. You are a Christian. You are doesn't matter. If you don't believe in the Messiah who came to this earth already, you are not going to heaven. Doesn't it say that when? When the Messiah comes, he has to, you know, do all the stuff. Uh, the, you know, the resurrection of the dead. The temple will be rebuilt in Jerusalem. There'll be peace in the world, and and the, and the list but you goes see, on. Jesus, he said. Jesus, he said, you can destroy this temple, uh, in, in, and I will build it in three days. He was talking about his body. So there is, you know, Jesus. He knew exactly what is written in the Old Testament, and he he explained very well. They killed him. They crucified him, and he built this temple because this is the temple of God in three days, not in three years, three days. So a Jew who refused, he would try to find the same as a Muslim. He would try to find yeah. another reason not to believe in Jesus. I understand that. But you will notice that the majority of the Jews already are Christians. The minority are not, not the opposite. Where, where is this? Because all of, where is, where is the Jews? There's only like 20 millions, you know, why? I mean, those, this is a nation existence thousands and thousands of years. Right. Even if we say like uh, uh, Hitler, he killed millions of them, correct? Like six million. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But still, that will not change the number. You are from Azerbaijan. The number of Azerbaijani people alone is way more than the Jews in the world, correct? Uh, correct. Yeah. So what happened? Why this nation is so small? Because the majority they became Christians, and they don't call themselves Jews. Those are Messianic Jews. So 
remember the first Christians in the world they were Jews they were not from different location right correct okay so so the Jews are the first to yeah. accept Jesus and this is why he came to them because they were waiting for him would you say that uh, would you say that the Christianity has changed meaning for example the uh, you know uh, Shabbat <laughs> was uh no, Shabbat, on saturday no my yeah. friend the word shabbat or sabbath is yeah. not is doesn't mean saturday only sabbath is any day designated for the lord as an example when when they crucified the messiah the second day it was sabbath but it was not saturday it was a holiday the passover is coming you know so right. yeah any day is a holiday is a sabbath any day is designated to be for god is called Sabbath. So there's many Sabbath in the year, not only Saturday. Saturday okay. is one of them, and Sabbath is a day. However, Jesus said, you said that Christianity changed, right? Yes. The Jews, they were watching Jesus, and they said, look, your disciples, they are working in the field. He said to them, Sabbath was made for the man. Man was not made for the Sabbath, which means they have a wrong understanding of the Sabbath. When a man, he do good work for the Lord, he is not breaking the Sabbath. Sabbath is not meant to be a person who do nothing uh, totally as long mm -hmm. as long. You see, you, you see, this is the idea of the Jews. They are somehow the uh, Muhammad. He because he lived between them. He he was trying to adopt in a stupid way what the Jews believe. So, if we ask ourselves, when God he ordered the Jews not to work in Sabbath. Right. Do he really care for a day? Do you think this is what he care for a day? Is that a day he care for? Or it is because they are greedy and they don't want to work and their servant, they work 24 hours, seven days a week. So by forcing Sabbath on them, now no Jew have excuse to go to open his business, to open his store, or to force his servant to work. So now all the employees who work for this Jewish man, they have to go to rest. So this is why Jesus said, Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath. Okay. You understand? And that is very logical, right? Mm, I don't know. I need to... <laughs> no, I need think to about, it. My, think yeah. about it. Which one is important to God? A, a day or, a, or the man who he created? It depends on... I don't know. It. Uh, that's... Uh, no, that's a tough question. No, it's not. Let, let, me, let me make it simple for yeah. you. Let me make it okay. simple for you. So, sure. did God send all the prophet for the sake of the Sabbath or for the sake of the man? No, for the man. Okay, so the man is more important, obviously. Correct. Okay. Yes. So it's very easy. So when when a when a Jewish person or even a Muslim he go into details and he's stuck with the silly ones usually, like you know, you have to wash your hands. Right? Yeah. This is silly. Yeah. Jesus, he answered them, it's not what go inside your mouth will make you dirty, but what come from your mouth. So their hand is clean, but their mouth is filthy. Mm. Which one is more important? If you go right now and you see a homeless yeah. person, he did not take a shower for a month. But this yeah. homeless, he never killed, he never lied, he never hurt anyone. He's a very nice person. And right. there is a person, he, he, he take a shower per, with perfume. He, he have a limousine, he have bodyguards, he live in the, the, the most magnificent palace, but right. he is a criminal, he's a drug dealer. Which one mm. of them is more clean, you think? Oh, obviously. Well, yeah, that's the spirit, this is uh, the person's soul. So, so yeah. Jesus, he was our Lord, who is teaching us the real thing. It's not the poor who is bad because he's poor. Is not the poor because he smell he is dirty. It is the one who is full of dirt inside him. It's what comes from inside you, not what is outside okay. you. So the Jews they focus in cleaning, right? Well, cleaning yeah. is good. Nobody's saying it's not. Absolutely, it's good. But they are so much into like you know, like there's a police. He says, uh, if you uh, go in the car and you did not turn the light right away at night, we give you a ticket. But the mm -hmm. law, it doesn't say really, you know, I mean, the, the light is exists so you can see another, they can see you. So I just turned the light, the car on. I did not even drive yet. He want to give you a ticket. The Jews, they were practicing a form of hypocrisy. When a rich man, he commit adultery. You remember the story in the Bible where a woman, she was going to be stoned to death. Mm -hmm. Okay, where, mm -hmm. is the, where is the man? 
Right. What they, what they are going after the women because she is a poor woman. Obviously, the man is the rich. He had money, you know. So they go after the women, but they don't want to stone the man because they are hypocrite. The the rabbis are the same. Why the rabbi they want to kill Jesus? Because you know he is a, he is he is, a, he is a snatching their authority from them. He is taking away, you know, what 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 people trust on them that they are nobody. They are just a bunch of uh, liars. So when 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 the when the, the rabbi they ask Jesus, mm -hmm. what should we should we pay tax to Caesar? You know the story. Yeah. Okay. Caesar present an occupation. So, if Jesus said, "Oh, pay tax to to Caesar," the Jewish will, the rabbi will be say, "Oh, wow! Look, he is taking, he is betraying us, taking side of Caesar, right?" Mm -hmm. And if he say, "Don't," the Roman will arrest him. Correct? You see, you see that? Mm -hmm. So look what Jesus said, an extreme wisdom. He come to one of them. He says, "Can you show me the coin in your in your pocket?" So he took a coin and he showed him. He said, what is this picture there in the coin? This is the picture of Caesar. So Jesus said, give what to Caesar to Caesar. So they are a bunch of hypocrites. They refuse Jesus for no reason. They are trying to do, let us say, conspiracy all the time against him to be killed. And they don't want to pay tax to Caesar, but they work for Caesar. They work in the court of Caesar. They obey Caesar. And they carry the money of Caesar, and yet they are asking, should we pay tax to Caesar? And they are paying tax to Caesar. <laughs> so now, my friend, can, yeah. See, so now the answer is the problem, not what they do, yeah. according to them. They pay tax, they work for Caesar, and they are under the authority of Caesar. And you will see, even the Roman ruler, he asked the rabbis, what I should do. Which means they, they are in the system, they are not revolutionary people against the occupation, they are in it. But yet they are very hypocrite. So I understand you live a lot, for a long time in Israel, as you said. But I say to you, I find no reason for anyone to reject Jesus from the Jews, except arrogant. My friend, can I ask another question? Sure. Christians don't get circumcised today, right? Hmm. Why wasn't this part of the you know the law that was passed down? No, but this is, was a covenant between God and the Jews. Are we we are not children of Abraham, are you? I don't know. You are not. Uh, you are from Azerbaijan. You are not. I am not. The Arab are not children of Abraham. Yeah, but which okay because okay because you just said the Arabs are not and and the Azerbaijani are not either, but there were the 10 lost tribes, right? We don't know where they went. That's possible. Maybe they went. No, it doesn't matter. They say the covenant is made by, between a man and his children. Same time, same time. Uh, circumcision was meant for the benefit of the man, not the opposite. So if you are circumcised, it, you know, at that time, people are, they, there is a lot of disease, illness. Until now, actually, circumcision proven to be healthy and better for none not doing it so uh, uh, when he, when god he gave the order it was a reason the same as the order for the pork the same as the order for the sabbath everything have a reason but the reason is not the the, uh, the reason is to the man is not to god god don't care he is the one who created you with it correct mm -hmm. okay so it's for your benefit to do it no problem but god he gave an order to a man and his children after him i am not from his children if God, he came and he sent me a messenger saying, okay, well, now I will have a covenant with the Arab to do that. And this mm -hmm. person is a prophet and God said that to him, I would do it. No problem. Mm. But okay. he did not. Same time, same time. I will go back to my example. A person, he is circumcised. A person, he is uh, keeping the Sabbath. A person, he wash his hands, his feet. A person he give uh, the uh, the the uh, uh, the ten percent of his money to to the to God, right. and he obey all the law. All right. Yeah. Yeah. But all of this is just a ritual. But in reality, he don't believe, and in reality, he is adulterous. In reality, he is a child molester. In reality, he is a gang member. In reality, he take an interest. In reality, people, they take money from him and he take money back. But this is always against 
the Bible, but apparently he is a very obedient person, but inside him he is the opposite. And there's a person, he is not circumcised, he don't wash, he don't even go to the temple, but he believe in God. He believe in the God of the Jews, of the Christians. He believe that we should not break the commandment. He believe in everything and he practice them, but he's homeless. He did not get mm. some concession and he is dirty. Is he, is he better than the rabbi or who is better? Of course, of course he's better. That's so the, so yeah. you know what the yeah. Jews do, they do. They are the same as the Muslim. They focus in, the, in, in things which is not really what the, the, the purpose of, of God. You see, you know, they ask, uh, there is a big rabbi, I forgot his name. This is from, I think, 60 or 70 years before Christ. They ask him, uh, what is the Torah? The Torah, he said, that all the Torah is love to your neighbor as you love to yourself or something like that, you know? Yeah, yeah, this is Rabbi Hillel. Oh, hello. So, thank you. Oh, just remind me. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so the whole Torah is this. That the Torah is not Saturday and, uh, and Sunday and circumcision and those is just to complete the system. System, you know, we have a we have a tribe. We have to keep the things clean. Like, do you think God mm -hmm. He care if you do if you do your dirt uh, uh, ten meter from your house or you have to walk as as the Bible says you have to walk a distance far? This is all to keep you clean for your health, right? Yeah. But that will not make you a good person or a bad person to God. So, all the Bible and all the Torah is about to love to others what you love to yourself. And this is mentioned in the New Testament and mentioned in the Old Testament. And the question now, who is who are they really, the people who practice this? Mm -hmm. That is a question I will give it to you. We Christians, we cannot be Christian unless we practice this. Is the Jewish people practicing that? I will leave that a question for you. Is the Muslim so. practicing that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I, yeah. Well, my friend, I don't want to take too much, you know, more of your time. Is it possible? Maybe I can message you later. Well, you know, I don't. When you see my Skype on, that's mean I am live. I don't take any call when I am not. I, I when I uh, when I'm offline, that's it. My Skype is offline too. No so problem. No when problem. I am online, is it maybe like an email? Maybe I can like if I, I don't, have questions. I don't take. I you know, my friend, if I give email to people, I will get a million email every day. I understand. I understand. So is impossible. there somewhere that is there somewhere that can send like uh, my questions if I have questions? You can do can it I... here in Skype. You can call me. Don't just don't text me, please. We'll take you not okay, much. Okay, not you know, a problem. Make the question short. I will answer you. That will be no problem. You see, because explaining something in text. It can be extremely hard for both of us because both of us English is yeah. not our first language. Secondly, you might misunderstood me. No problem. All right. I appreciate your help. You're Thank welcome. you very much. Take care. Take care. You too. Well, we are happy for our friend from Azerbaijan who decided to leave us now. Uh, we have Mansoor. He was trying to call me. Let us try to call him again. Oh, this is not Mansoor. Hold on. Where is Mansoor? Hello? Hello? I hear nothing. <clears throat> Hello? Are you there? Hello? Yes. Is that Mansoor? Mansoor. How are you, Mansoor? Mansoor? Are you Mansoor? Who's talking? Uh, I tried to connect him with UCP. Wait, let me just, I'm just connecting you with you. Because uh, this oh, okay. guy say you blocked him on the chat on Skype and then he's been blocked on the chat on YouTube, on both of them. He well, cannot I, contact, co I don't contact. know, if he is blocked, that means he was saying bad language. Because, you know, uh, we don't block people unless they are really being silly and uh, talking like kids. But anyway, oh, connect okay. him. Connect him, no problem. Let us see who's he. Okay.
Halo, Mansur. Let me let him know, Tifi. Let me let him know on Messenger. All right. Let me call you back All with right. him. All right. You know, the problem, they call me when I'm talking to somebody. How I can take your call, I mean. Uh, see, this is my advice to people. Don't be, don't be the same as those who they, they, they make God the ritual, not God himself. You know, that the God for them is the ritual. Like how to wash your hands, how to do uh, uh, certain things, or you have to you repeat a certain prayer. Jesus, he, you know, he, he taught us that this is all is not really what God you want. Are you the real CP? The Muslims, people keep asking me, are you the real CP? You know, if you keep repeating the same question again, I will suspect I will become like Muhammad, and I will go and try to find the buy a mirror, because I don't have a mirror home, uh, to find a mirror to see if this is the real CP or not. Because everybody likes to me saying, are you the real, are you the real, sir, the real CP? Any Muslim? So don't, you know, don't be the same as those hypocrites who focus in the silly stuff mostly, but when it's come to something real, they are not decent. Let us see. talk is strong hello yes hello hello Christian Prince yes how are you fine and you I'm very fine thank God um, am I uh, live yes we are live we are live on air in YouTube <laughs> so in case you don't like to be live you can hang up <clears throat> no 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 there's no problem okay um, but I will say that my English is not very good oh there we are two, I, two uh, more we can play cards now because my English is not good too Okay. So if you find two more people don't uh, uh, speak good English, we can make a team of non-speaking English team. I, I, I can't hear you very well. Oh, you cannot? Um, I'm going to put my AirPods. Okay. Just one second. I will check. Okay, what about now? Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I hear you from my side. I have no problem, but I don't know. Okay. So, my story. Yeah. I'm from Belgium. Okay. And um, I, I would say, I can say I was born in a, yeah. in a Muslim um, family. Okay. Uh, but I... I've always questioned myself about Islam. Um, there are many, many, many things that are not so logic to me. Like what? Um, like what? Um, like um, what? Well, uh, women and men are not equal in Islam. Mm. Um, women have to wear hijab. Mm. Men, um, men can marry four wives. <laughs> oh, nice. um, um, many things, I don't know. Um, <sighs> what's, wrong with I men, don't know. what's wrong with men marrying four wives? It's, I think, you know, like, you know, look, think about it in a positive way. So now, now no. you are in the kitchen, and another mm -hmm. wife, she is doing, making salad. 
you are making mm -hmm. barbecue and one woman mm -hmm. she is doing massage to the feet of the husband and there's the other <laughs> one doing training for belly dancing i mean it's fun <laughs> <laughs> no 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 <laughs> It's not. It's you know, not, it's not like this. Why, why the women? She is not allowed to have four husbands there. You know. I mean. That's a, yeah. Why? You know. Why? Well, the women. She why? like to be spoiled too. Like here we go. You want to spoil the men? Spoil the women. Four husbands. Yeah, one is doing dishes and the other one doing laundry, and uh, you know. I mean, whatever. We don't want to go in details. You know? <laughs> no, it's so. It's so unlogic and uh, disgusting. Mm. Um, and I, I. I've never, um, how would I say that? I've never um, believed in hadith, never. Mm. Um, in, in, in Quran uh, also, because one, one day my sister told me, if you, if you, can't, um, if you can't believe in hadith, so you can't believe in Quran uh, e either, mm. because uh, you are not... Um, you are not sure that um, the Quran is the word the word of God, because mm. Hadith it it's the word of of a man. Mm. It's a man, not women, of course. Um, so I don't know. There, there are so in 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 my mind, uh, Christian Prince, um, Islam, where the Quran is is like it was written by a man full of hate and um full of a punishment mm. also mm. and in my mind i cannot believe that a god might be might be like this it's not possible do you mm. understand mm. it's not possible that god um the only thing that well because because muslims say um you have to pray you have to to um to do uh, ramadan you have to fast um but when i say to my mom uh, yeah but why do i have to pray god doesn't mean my pray my prayers um it will not change a thing in him i mean he's god he doesn't give a fuck about it's us not, don't use i'm sorry numbers. okay i'm sorry he does g give a damn about us so why why should I pray five times a day in, well, in, um, in, in times very, very, uh, respected. Um, if, 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 if you don't fast, you will, you will, um, if you, if you don't fast a day, you will have to, to do it for two months on and on. And, uh, many Muslims here, um, you know, they drink, they, they go out. They they do you know things with m women, mm -hmm. but but um, fasting, they do it. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's so hypocritical. I saw I saw you know with my own eyes many Muslims like you know when they go to uh, like uh, you know Philippines or etc. I saw uh, Saudi guys. They uh -huh. they having uh, a bunch of hookers. Their their skirt is in the size of one inch. You know. Yeah. And they have whiskey, black label in the table, and etc. And then when the ma when the waitress came, she said, "He said, do we do you have halal food?" <laughs> <laughs> come so, on, come on. So hookers is okay, black label is okay, but uh, halal food is a must. You know, like, we are decent. You know, we are we are mm. following the book. Yeah, we, but you know, but you know why you why you are surprised when Muhammad never was decent? Did Muhammad follow even the Quran? The Muslim they say that they have they can marry up to four, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, how many wives Muhammad have? Well, I've I've never read, but I I, I heard you and heard also uh, Shamoon mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> um, and David Wood saying that uh, he 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 had uh, eleven wives. No, actually, those numbers are not accurate. Those, the, uh... But he had he, he he had he had more than four wives. Yeah, uh, he had more than other. Actually, Muslims. nobody knows. Nobody knows the exact number, but the 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 major uh, let's say uh, statement is he have thirteen total of thirteen. Some they say seventeen. However, uh, eleven wives he have according to some in the same time, which means some they die. You know, eleven wife mm -hmm. in the same time. But let us think about it. 
if Muhammad he told his followers to marry only four in the same time and he have more than four the answer for the Muslim is because he's a prophet he can marry more yeah. you know and this is what all cult leaders they do they give a license for them extra license mm -hmm. for sex and money you know mm -hmm. so the best yeah the he, he, I think I, I think many Muslims can't under understand uh, when they when they read hadiths I think I think I don't know if they are uh, dumb or I don't know maybe it's because you know you can touch the prophet you can touch him but he's a man he's not God he's a man they have to understood that he's a man and the 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 thing that um he had he had wives he he um he declared war to um to to Jews to Christians he he was bad to them um i mean there's something wrong in this in this um he, he married uh, Aisha she was a child come on man come yeah, on according, according to muslims at that time uh, girls at the yeah, age of she, six. She was eighteen. Yeah, she oh. was no, she was six, but she was very, very big, you know, because at that time, uh, people they grow so fast, yeah. you know. Actually, I have a cousin. His mother she gave birth to him uh, yesterday, and now he have a mustache. It's true story, you know, because we're in the Middle East and it's, it's hot there. It's very hot, you know. It's like it's like how <laughs> crazy stuff. Anyway, but this is how what they do in order to give excuse to the filthy man because nobody dare to touch him. And yeah. in one hand, they say he is just a man, he is a servant of God, of God. The second you question his ethic, they say you cannot question the prophet. Well, the fact is, we should question always the ethic of the one who claimed to be a priest or a prophet. Those are the ones to be questioned, mm -hmm. not a normal person. Because a normal person, he is not claiming that I am uh, a man of God, you know? Like, I am not a priest. I'm like everybody. So, if you mm -hmm. want to question my ethic, I wonder why you are questioning my ethic unless maybe you are a family member maybe what why you do that why you did this etc you have the right to do so but when you are a priest or you claim to be a prophet everybody have the right to question your ethic correct mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you are not yeah. a person a, a, a private person now you are a public figure who is claiming mm -hmm. to be sent by god to teach people how to be good so if the one who is teaching us how to be good he is filthy and then mm -hmm. we can't question why he is filthy, but he can question all of us. Mm -hmm. You know, that is a clear sign of hypocrisy. Yeah. And the same time, when they say that Muhammad is just a man, he is not God. So why we cannot question the man if he is not God? Yeah. You know, and why actually, according to Islamic Sharia law, if you insult Allah, they give you three days to repent. If you repent, you can live. But if you insult Muhammad, always with numbers. Yeah, three days again, three number three. You see, it's not, it's not Trinity. Muslims yeah. don't believe in Trinity. So three days to repent. If you if you if you repent before three days, you are fine. But if you insult Muhammad, even if you repent, you will be killed. What kind? Of, who mm -hmm. is more important? Obviously, Muhammad, not Allah. Yeah, th there's a, th um, a thing that uh, I can't I can't really understand too. Um, when you pray, you always say, um, you always put uh, Muhammad in the in the in the you know at the end of the of the prayer or yeah. anything. Because they are mushrikeen. You know, the, the, the funny about Muslims, they claim that there are people who believe in one God, but the reality is. Yeah. Muhammad is the God of Islam and this is why actually he changed his name from Qatham to Muhammad Muhammad means the praised one so if Muhammad is the praised one who is praised to what was his his name Qatham 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 yeah Qatham this is a real name uh, I didn't even Muhammad. know that <laughs> yeah, you see this is why okay if you ask the Muslims what is the name of Muhammad you will say they say Muhammad okay but in different verses it says Ahmad is it Muhammad or Ahmad? They say it's the same. So how is the same? How you change the name? I mean, Ahmad is different. Pronunciation is different. Mm -hmm. Everything is different. Yeah. So is it Ahmad or Muhammad? Simply because this is about the meaning. It's not about the name. It is a title. So in chapter chapter sixty one verse number six, Muhammad claimed that Isa, which means supposed to Jesus, he said to the to to the children of Israel 
there's a messenger will come after me his name is Ahmed okay let us go with this so if the name of the messenger he will come after Jesus his name is Ahmed well that is not Muhammad then because here it says Ahmed. Yeah. So which one is his name? They will say to you, oh, both of them are the same. It doesn't make sense. The name is a name. <laughs> it makes sense only if it is, it's a meaning, not a name. You know what I mean? Like I say mm -hmm. the word decent, let us say, and decent can be uh, truthful. So once I say decent, when I say truthful, it's the same, right? But yeah. if it's a name of a person, then the name will not change. The name is going to be the name, wherever you go. But because it is obviously not a name, those are titles Muhammad, he gave himself. He gave her a lot to himself. Yeah. But a thing that I, I, I don't also understand is how did he manage to, to be as big as... You see... Oh, uh, 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 let us, who, let, who protected him? No, no, let, let, who let us, gave let, him... Uh, let us see no. how things work. Let us see how mm -hmm. things work. When uh, I will give you an example, I have nothing to do with Muhammad. When uh, mm -hmm. when a guy, uh, two guys in open a website is called Google in their garage. All right, it's a Google <laughs> website in their garage. Uh -huh. Okay, they came in a perfect time where nobody created such a thing, right? And mm -hmm. they were successful because there's no competition, and then they grow so big, and now they are in a size of even bigger than countries with their budget. Actually, there's many countries in the world, they don't even have the budget of 1% of Google. So, Muhammad, he came in a time where the Roman and the Persian, they were fighting for the last 300 years. And they demolished each other totally. They are out of men, both of them. So the two big empires, they lost their men after a crazy year of 300 years of war. In the chapter of Arum, where it's in the Quran, Muhammad, he speak about the Roman, they've been defeated. And the Roman, they will be victorious. Because at that time, Muhammad was trying to make the Christian believe that he is a Christian and he loved the Roman. So the Roman were defeated. This is a chapter of the Roman, chapter number 30, verse number 1 and 2 and 3, etc. And they will be victorious in, 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 uh, 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 in Buddha Isanin. Buddha, I mean, between 3 to 9, you know. So... And later the, the, the prophecy fell apart. And actually the hadith proved that Muhammad, he said this verse after the Roman being victorious. However, the Roman, they were defeated. Imagine how bad the situation was for the Roman. Just in the time of Muhammad. And then the Roman, they defeated the Persian a few years after, you know, which is more than nine mm -hmm. years actually. Mm -hmm. uh, when they defeated the Persian, it was a total defeat, but doesn't mean that the Roman are in good position too, because as you see, they are they are they are really in a very bad shape. So when Muhammad he came, it was a perfect time where nobody can stop him, in the east or in the west. The Roman are miserably after three hundred years of war, and the Persian is way more even miserably defeated more than the Roman. So the land is open in front of him, and nobody can stop him. So he became, you know, this so, evil man, he came in a perfect time, not because he was victorious. Actually, Muhammad, so he went it was to political. It, it was, was yeah, it was, even... yeah, it was a situation where everybody is weak, you know, <laughs> everybody is collapsing. So he um, came in a, in a perfect time, uh, uh, like uh, right time, right, yeah. right place, you know. If Muhammad yeah, yeah, yeah. came a few years after, the, the story would be different. Uh, at the same time, even Muhammad himself, he went to Tabuk to attack the Roman, he failed. So Muhammad, even in his time, he could not do it, you know. Why? Because it's still the Roman, you know, because they are fighting the Persian, they have extra troops in the borders where the Persian used to be. But after a few years, when uh, uh, the Caliphate, they decide to do what Muhammad started, to go and attack the Roman, then the border was open and they were able to take Jerusalem. This is why we have the, what's called the Pact of Amar. Muhammad, he failed to take Jerusalem. He could not. So Allah did not give him victory as the Muslim they claim. So uh, 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 everything happened for a reason. And the defeat of the Muslims happened for a reason. You know, you know the Muslims, they conquer because they are, you know, at that time, uh, they are more savage than every neighbor. Those are Bedouin. They take a shower once a year. Ibn Khaldun is a Muslim philosopher. 
which is against Islam to be a philosopher anyway. He said there's a three stages of a state, state of a Bedouin, state of uh, like between, you know, between Bedouin and civil, and, and the state of civil. The state of civil is when the state collapse. Why? Because those people, they became comfortable. They are not in their horses no more. They are not physically fit for war. They are people who take a shower in a bathroom and they sleep in a bedroom. They are not people of a tent. So he explained it very well that because they were people of horses, they went, but when they became, they occupy other countries and now they have palaces, they occupy Spain, they became so rich, so wealthy. They are not the Bedouin no more, the savage ones who drink the horse blood. When the Tatar came, Hulako, you know Hulako, right? So when the Tatar came, and those are way more savage than the Arab, they were able to conquer the Arabs so easy because they are more barbaric. Mm -hmm, so yeah. they are victorious for a reason. They lose for a reason. Have nothing to do with, with, the, with the God and losing and winning, which God is winning, which one. Like now, Israel is 6 million uh, population. Uh, there's a lot of Arab between them, actually. And still, mm -hmm. there's no Muslim country can win a war with, with Israel. You know, Christians, yeah. we say, mm -hmm. oh, uh, God is supporting Israel. The, the Muslims, they say, God is supporting uh, the, the Muslims. The Jews, they say, God is supporting uh, the, uh, our state. Uh, I say that, you know, the reality, the reality is Israel have a power of army. For sure, God can make victorious, but not because you, you know, because you have nukes. The, the victory of a nuke is a your victory. The victory of God is one guy fighting 1,000. So if God is with me, I, who could be against me? So And there's a stories in the Bible about that, you know, that how a person, mm -hmm. he can fight thousands, even though he's alone. So it's not right now Israel is victorious, not because God protecting Israel, because Israel have nukes and have a superpower. If Israel is not having the nukes, and what they have, and the power and the army they have, the Muslim, they will attack immediately, and Israel will be demolished. Yeah. So, uh, 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 this is reality, you know, I don't like to take a side, like I know some Christian will say, oh no. But they God. are waiting for Iran. They are waiting, you know, they hate so much Shia, Shias, but they are waiting so, like, <laughs> so much for Iran to attack uh, Israel. They saw hypocrite. Yeah, yeah. You, see, you mean the Sunni? Yeah, you see, because they want the Sunni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Sunni, they want the Shia to be demolished by Israel. You know, they are dreaming that a war will happen between the Jews and the Shia, and they kill each other. Yeah. And yeah, we watch, yeah. and then the yeah. same as what happened in Dan Muhammad, the the Persian fighting with the Roman. You know what I mean? And then mm -hmm. they kill each other, and then the both of them they will get weak, and then we attack. This this is a dream of the yeah. Sunni. You know. Yeah, they are waiting for that point, as you said. But anyway, my friend, as long as you call me, I want to ask you, yeah. what do you think about the Messiah? Well, you decide to leave Muhammad, you don't want to be Muslim no more. Yeah, but yeah. you know, I've I've downloaded um, the Bible, um, I think, th three days ago, and mm. I began to, to read it. But Christian Prince, yeah. I have... Um, just one question. Sure. Um, being, I can say, an ex-Muslim, uh, you know, Muslims have um, a problem with the Trinity. Okay. 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 Because when we are all Muslims, um, it's like the their parents mm. um, tell them when you, when since since they are um, very young, the young age. Yeah. You know um, that the Bible was, um, uh, you know, um, modified. Hmm. I don't know how you say you say the, okay. the word. Um, um, that um, Jesus is God. Hmm. Um, you know, and then I'm like, um, I'm like, I, 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 I can't really understand that Jesus is God. Okay. Just that. Okay. You know, uh, um, how 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 could you explain to me what is Trinity? Okay. And Be why you, yeah. Before we go, go to ahead. explain what what God mean the mm -hmm. word God what the God what word God mean what do you think? 
When you say God, what, um, what is the understanding of God? God is 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 someone. Well, not someone. Mm. It's it's not some. You know, um, I can say someone. Okay. Okay. Um, that um, it's it's there for us to to go through this life um, to help us to. I don't know to 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 have a positive energy mm. to um, to give us love okay. to be uh, forgiven. Okay. I can say to be uh, to be forgiven. But do you to, believe to, to, to forgive us? Okay. Do you believe that God is what the, we... He is the Creator? Yeah. Okay. Do you believe yeah. that He is? Uh, the provider yes okay and you said he is forgiving and he loves us correct yeah we just found jesus then because jesus is all <laughs> forgiving jesus in the cross he says forgive them father they do not know what they are doing he said about who the one who just put nails in his feet and nails in his arms yeah but he says father who Exa is father okay I will, father, I will is, go there. is he god is, or him himself no he's problem. god but he was just going step by step okay. so now we found the forgiving okay. the forgiving and the loving because he loved them he forgave them you don't you, you don't forgive somebody yeah. you hate correct yeah yeah okay so if somebody forgive the one is killing him now with a lot of pain how much love he have a lot correct Mm -hmm. Amazing love, because you, if if I if 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 your sister she put little needle in your hand, you will go crazy on her. <laughs> Especially yeah. in the moment she put it, not later after a year or a day after, you are suffering right now, and you forgive them. So that is Jesus. He say things, he do what he say. You see, there's many people they like they say to you, uh, do what I say, don't do what I do. Why? Because most mm -hmm. of us. We claim to be following God, but we break always what God taught us to do. Jesus don't. That means that Jesus is a holy person, for he always consistent with his holiness. Not like Muhammad. He don't go after women. He's a man, yet mm -hmm. he don't he never commit sin. After children or so. <laughs> he never after children or women or even men, you know? Like Muhammad. Yeah. So so he, everything is about him is holy. But let us now go and see mm -hmm. the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, for God, he humbled himself. He sent, he, he come to us in a form of a man. He humbled himself. So when the Messiah, he speak about God, the Father, he is saying to you that I am God on earth who humbled himself. And even he said, my Father, my Father in heaven is a great he is, you know, he's actually he is, he's, he's, uh, he's the amazing uh, person. And the Bible says that the Father glorified the Son and the Son glorified the Father. Most of them, they say, well, isn't it this is now two God and then the Holy Spirit that will make it three God? Mm -hmm. If we say that God is almighty, almighty means he, he can, he is capable of anything, right? Mm -hmm. And if he is almighty, is he capable to be three and one in the same time? Mm -hmm. Is it is it really possible? For why not? I mean, if he's yeah, God, he can do he can do whatever yeah. he wants. So is it possible that God he can walk in water? Yeah. Okay. Is it possible that God he can come to earth? Mm -hmm. uh, like okay, Mary she he make Mary she have uh, no man yet she have a child. They say yes. Okay. Is it uh, uh, is it possible that God he can make uh, dirt from nothing? He can create the earth from nothing. Yes. So this is, is way more difficult than you know uh, being three in one. And if God He says I am a three in one at the same time, and then they don't question God about anything. The second we say God is it you know a three person, they say how that can be. So how come they don't question everything about God? If we cannot, if we can question or we want to question why and how, then we should question everything. Secondly. Always man, they say, where is God? Let God show himself. Okay, God showed himself. God is not, you know, the man is not happy. He said, how God can be a man? <laughs> yeah. You know, so it doesn't matter what God do, the man will complain. But the question is, uh, how the Trinity uh, uh, can be uh, exist? Well, how God can be exist? 
If God, he said to me, I am a three and one at the same time, either I believe or I reject as simple as that. And being one or th three person does not change that he is one still the same. We Christian, we don't believe in three gods. We believe in one God, three person, which means God come to us as a spirit. Like now, we believe as a Christian that the Holy Spirit is with us. Jesus, he said, every two of you mention my name, I will be between them, I will be the third. So according to the Bible, Jesus is the same to us now, and he's between us. So, Christian Prince, I, I have a question, sorry. No, no, let, let, um, me, let me make it more. Yeah, 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 of course. So go again, go ahead. Yeah, so, you know, so the, 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 the three person is explaining the power of God, of being everywhere and with us all the time, for he is the creator. It is about how powerful he is. You know, when, when Muhammad, he said, God come every night, Allah, he come every night in the third part of the night. And he asked who is praying. Okay, that's mean Allah, he cannot hear you unless he come in the third, in, in the lowest heaven. Yeah. With Jesus, with the Trinity, God do not need to come anywhere. God is with us always. Yeah, it's like Spirit Allah is, is, is weaker than, yeah. than, than Jesus. So, and not see. only that, the God of the Muslim, he, you know, the other Muslim, they say, why Allah he say we? They say it's majestic. It's majestic. Yeah. Okay. But if yeah. Allah he like to call himself we, and that will make it fake we, because he is not a three and one. You know what I mean? He's one. Mm -hmm. So why he call himself we? This is a fake this is a fake we. This is a lie. This is mm -hmm. a this is a person is not a confident. He add we in the front of his name because he like it, make him look bigger or something more important. Would it would with Jesus, we do not need we. You know, you will never see mm -hmm. Jesus saying we. He say me yeah. and the Father. He don't say we. You know. Yeah, you know, you know, you know who's talking. You know who's talking. You know that he is saying, "I am a person. He is a person, but still we are one God." In the same time, when one of the disciples said to Jesus, "Why don't show us the Father?" and that's it, Jesus said to him, "I am with you all the time, and you do not know me yet. The one who saw me, he saw the Father." What does that mean? That Jesus on earth is God on earth. By seeing me, you are seeing the humble image of God. Him, God humbled himself. He came to us in a humble image. That is the image of Jesus. So we you don't know, worship... Christian Prince, you are talking and, and it's it's very touching my heart because in Islam, when, when, you, when you, you read Quran, um, you, you don't feel love. You don't feel uh, God's love. It's always, it, it, it's like you have to do what he says, because if you don't, you go to hell right away. Mm. And it's not, you're not doing this for love because you love him so much. You're doing it because you are afraid of him. And, and that's why I, I told you that it's like Quran was made by, by a man because it's it it's like it was written by a man because i don't know how to say it because men you know if you don't do this punishment you know it's like a kid you don't do this you you you, you can't have uh you know uh, whatever you want and 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 when when you talk to um when you talk um to me about jesus um it's so full of of love and you can say that, yeah, it might be, it, it might be, it might be God. You see, the, the Bible make it clear that God is love, you know, and the Bible says love never fail. This is why we see uh, as a Christians, we do not need to go and do war with the Muslims and kill each other. We believe mm -hmm. that our war is not the war of the sword. Muhammad, he focused on the sword because his purpose is to conquer, his purpose is to rape, his purpose is to get rich. With the Christ, the purpose is not to conquer, the purpose is to spread love and forgiveness. So, otherwise, we as a Christian now, we are the majority in the world, and if we, if we calculate the numbers and the power of armies... I hope... I hope I hope it stays like this huh? because I hope so but I'm saying but you see imagine <sighs> imagine if if the one who have the superpower 
armies are Muslims army imagine what will happen imagine <laughs> if, if, if imagine if Russia is Russia is, is Muslim imagine if uh, uh, America is Muslims the whole earth is destroyed it will be it will be Sharia everywhere no 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 they will announce one it day it will be slaves in, in one it day will it be... says convert to Islam or we will kill you all and then they will start raping women from the different them. sect not only they will kill, they kill uh, the Christian and Jews and Hindus and Buddhas they will even kill Muslims who they are from different sect you know mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. making you a Muslim doesn't doesn't <laughs> save you. Still, you have to be from their sect. So yeah. if the Shia took over, they will kill the Shi the Sunni and they will take their women. If the Sunni take over and what and even the Shia, they are tons of sect and the Sunni are tons of sect. Like now, the Sunni they consider the Sufi are not Muslims, but all of Turkey is Sufi. Most of it, most of Turkey mm -hmm. is Sufi. The uh, Erdogan he support Azerbaijan. We we have a caller from Azerbaijan just five minutes ago. But yeah, Azer yeah, yeah, heard. But, but Azerbaijan is a Shia, so why Erdogan is supporting them? You know, this mm -hmm. guy he, he will sell the Shia and he will buy the Shia, depend in his business. When his business with Al Qaeda, he support Al Qaeda. When his because business it's with political. Al <coughs> money, money, yeah. money and power. You know, he want money. He want the oil. So whoever, like Muhammad did. whoever have the money, okay, he go he make a speech reading Quran. He speak against Israel, but Israel have a big center of the Mossad in the heart of, of, of Ankara. Uh, 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 Turkey have the biggest agreement, army agreement and intelligence agreement with Israel. How you say those are the enemies in the mosque and then in reality, you are the one who supplied them. Number one importer for steel to Israel is Turkey. How you are saying that they are killing the Palestinian and you are the one who send them the iron to make bombs. You see? So yeah. the uh, Islamic countries are as, as no, nobody can beat them with hypocrisy and lying. And nobody beat them with betraying each other. From the time of Muhammad, all the caliphate, they killed each other. In the time of Jesus, we have only one disciple. He betrayed Jesus. And after that, he commits suicide for sorrow. Which means even this person, he was bad, but he knew he's bad. He did not, he regret. He regret doing such a thing. Muslims, no. They go with Muhammad because he was a gang leader. He will give them booty. He will give them women. He said to them, attack the Roman so we can get the blonde girls. And this is in their books. Attack the Roman so you can get what? The blonde girls. Not to spread Islam, not to, you know, to get the blondie. And when a man, he said to him, don't tempt us with women. Allah made a verse in the Quran saying, this man is a hypocrite. <laughs> the man who said to Muhammad, don't tempt us with women. He is the hypocrite, not Muhammad. You know? Yeah. So we cannot compare between really Christianity and Islam because Islam is a political uh, gang movement. Uh, the purpose of it is to conquer. Uh, a, a group of people take uh, over other group and uh, uh, you know if if you don't join them actually in certain time the muslim they refuse even christians christian villages to convert to islam because they were worried if they convert to islam who is going to pay the jizya who is going to make the living for them oh you know? yeah so uh, oh. they send the caliphate that those people they want to convert he said no don't accept who is going to pay yeah. for? Who is going to pay for your yeah. uh, your your your, your children? Yeah, they, 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 they will not give them money anymore. Yeah, the jizya, you know, the, the, the be, mafia. It's a mafia. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, 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 they're they're so clever. They're no, so clever. No, evil. And 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 evil. They, they're so clever and evil. Yeah, 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 evil. Yeah. But Muslims nowadays they're so dumb because they have Quran and they have Hadith and they have no brain. I'm sorry to say that. Yeah. What, what about your family then? You know, you speak to them about the Quran and the Hadith and, you know. Oh, it's, it's, I, I've, I've stopped to talk uh, about Islam, especially with my mom, because uh, every time we, we, every time I, I ask him, I, I ask her questions. Hmm. Um, it's like a war between us. And, uh, I'm like, uh, yeah, like, yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, funny, because we, yeah, yeah, because you, you, you can talk with a Muslim. Actually, actually, you know, he, uh, let me teach it, you. It, 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 he has, well, the Muslims, 
have um, a certain um, a certain image of of Islam, and you can't uh, you can't talk about this. No, I wanna I wanna correct you here. You see, mm -hmm. all those who left Islam, listening to my videos, in the beginning they do the same as your mom. After that, they they leave Islam. You know, so uh, the the one it says you have your religion, uh, uh, and I have mine. Actually, you can use that one to prove your mom to be wrong. Why? Because that uh, that verse alone is enough that the one who made it is a fraud. Why? Because Muhammad, he said that to the people of Quraysh. And he said very clearly, you will believe not in what I believe and I will believe not in what you believe. But later, all of them, they believe. So, do Allah knew what he is saying? Remember, the one is talking here is Allah, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, how he said to them, nor you will worship what I worship. And later they worship what he worship. Yeah. So this is a false prophet. Same time, this is one of the most dumb, stupid verses ever in the Quran or chapters. Because look what the Muhammad is saying. Say, O oh, disbelievers, okay? I believe not in what you believe. And you believe not in what I believe. And I do not believe in what you believe, and you will not believe in my belief. You believe, you believe, you believe, you believe you know, and you will have the religion like mine. I mean, I mean the, whole, the whole chapter is one verse. I will not believe in what you believe. That's it. Why you keep repeating the same yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, make it simple. Yeah, it's like is, is somebody saying, uh, I eat not what you eat, and you will eat not what I eat, and I will not do eat what you eat, because you will not do eat what I eat, because I don't eat what you eat, and you will not eat what I eat. I have food, you have mine. <laughs> what is that? This is God? This is, this is a kid talking. And then yeah, say, yeah, like I said to you, it, it, it's a, it's a man written. I'm sorry, it's a man written. No, don't sorry. I, 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 it's I, so it's I, so I, obvious. I say I say more. This is not a man. This is a stupid man. This is not a man. This is a stupid man making a statement. He does not know. Wasn't what to he say. was wasn't he uh, incapable of reading? Well, the Muslim they claim that he was not able to read, but I believe that he do know how to read. Because. You see, the, the, the Muslims, as, as always, they are ignorant in reading their own books. And we can prove it in two seconds. The Quran says that the word Ummi, the word Ummi is not an Arabic word. The word Ummi is an Aramaic word. And the Jews, they use it too. So the Ummiyin or Ummiyun is those who do not have a book of God. So if you go in chapter 2, verse number 78, it says, And among them, there are Ummi and learned Okay, learned what? That they do not know anything of the book. Do you see it? So, who is the one and learned? Who is the word? Who is the word Ummi used for? Is somebody he don't know the book of God? That's what word, word Ummi mean. And those usually are the Gomai, which means they are the people who they are not Jews. Mm -hmm. You know, they call them. They call, they call them Ummi, which means he is from other nations. And they are ignorant so the ignorant is the one who do not know the book it's not the one who do not know how to write how to read yeah, yeah. because it, the, when the Quran says those who they are ummiyin, they do not know the book if we say that the one who know the book all of them they knew let us say the Christians the, the, the Quran called the Christians people of the book but does that mean all of us we know how to read the book I'm sure at that time there's a lot of people do not know how to read how to write, correct? From the Christians. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So there's no way all of them they are people of the book. So what it's meant by people of the book, it's mean they have a book, not about knowing how to read, how to write. So those who they are they do not know the book, those are the ummi, those are the illiterate, those are the one who don't understand God. And this has appeared many, many times in the Quran, you know. Uh, chapter 3, verse number 20. It says, say to the people of the book and the ummi, the people of the book and the, the illiterate. You see it? Mm -hmm. Chapter 3, verse number 20. So say to the Christian and the Jews and to the illiterate. So who is the illiterate? The pagan who don't have a book. So the Quran never said Muhammad do not know how to write, how to book, to read. This is the stupidity of those who you know give interpretation for the Quran, but all the verses in the front of us is so clear.
and this is make it more funny that we are the Christians who they, we are not Muslims and we understand the Quran better than them. I mean, is it clear? It's so clear. It says illiterate, and even the, the translator here, the Muslim translator, he's, he would put two into bracket the Arab pagans. Is it possible that all the Arab do not know how to write, how to read? It's impossible. There is no way. So what make them illiterate? What make them illiterate is they don't have scriptures. Mm -hmm. What make us people of not illiterate? Because we are not ignorant. We have the scriptures. So Muhammad is Ummi, which means he is illiterate, for he was pagan. And he is from the Arab pagan. What about, uh, you're, you're talking about pagans. What about um, the pilgrimage? The pilgrim? The yeah. Hajj. Hmm. The Hajj, yeah, the Hajj. Yeah, it's something they practice before uh, it's, Islam it's, and the it's, same. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. It's so, it's so, it's so, it's so, it's also so dumb because, you know, you pay a fortune, a fortune to go and and go and, and, and do circles around yeah. a, a black stone. Come on. Not and and no. you, you are going to tell me that this, this action will bring me closer to God? Not actually, I'll, I'll tell you this, what? Muhammad, he claimed. That if you touch the black stone, Allah erase. Uh, sorry, that's uh, uh, touching them erase your sin. Uh, oh. Obviously, Muhammad is a very pagan person, and the Muslims they don't want you to read those, uh, you know, because how they claim that they worship one God and they are not pagan, and then if we touch a stone, touching them erase our sin. So how how a stone will erase my sin? You know how that work? Yeah, it's like a pagan thing. It is a pagan thing. Here we go. This is the hadith, yeah. and this is this is authentic hadith. It says about Abdul Rahman, I ask him, why do I only see you touching those two corners? He said, I heard the message of Allah saying, touching them erase sin. And I had heard him, I, I, I heard him say, whoever go around it seven times, it's like freeing a slave. So Muhammad, he, he don't want you to free a slave. He wants you, don't free a slave, go around around the Kaaba, you know, don't free a slave. <laughs> Don't free a slave. Go around the Kaaba seven times. Very easy. Uh, and then... Yeah, you, seven times because if you go like six times, you you will not be forgiven. All those numbers It's always are stolen, about numbers. Always, always those numbers are stolen from the Bible. All those numbers. Every number Muhammad he used. Number three, number seven, number 40. Everything Muhammad he used is coming from the Bible. You know? There are certain numbers... Yeah, it's, like, it's like it's like he, 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 he picked... He picked um, in Christians, he picked in pagans. He, it's like um, uh, it's like a cocktail. It's a cocktail. You know, uh, it's a cocktail. Uh, uh, the Quran is like a cocktail it's, of yeah. everything. It is a it is a cocktail. And in this, in the same time, uh, I don't know if you ever see the the black stone. Let me no, see. You didn't see I will never. Yeah, yeah, in images because, but I will never see it in uh, in reality. Well, no, I mean the black stone. There's no black stone left. And this is again a proof that Islam is false, because if the black stone is going to witness for Muslims <clears throat> in the in the day of judgment, which means the stone have to be preserved until the day of judgment, that's wonderful. So how that work when this is stone, nothing left of it? I will put the picture in the screen so people can see. There's nothing left of the stone. There's little tiny rocks inside wax. The brown thing we see in the screen, it is wax. The dark spots are little rocks inside, embedded inside the wax. So the black stone is gone. Okay, Allah, he sent the black stone from heaven. And this stone will witness for the Muslims in the judgment day. But nothing left of the stone. That means this God is a fiction. This story is a lie. But okay. how, 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 how is it possible for a stone to... What but, did he say? To... You know, yeah, you see, Muhammad, he says, is going to have tongue, is going to have an eyes, is going yeah. to have a mouth, you know? Oh. Yeah, but let us it's say... It's always magic with him. Yeah, It's but, always magic. But let, let, let us say, for the sake of argument, that will yeah. happen. But the stone is... Well, there's no stone left. Why Allah could not preserve the stone? The, the Saudi now, they have to do maintenance every few days to the black stone to keep the rocks around the rocks so they will not be taken off. And they have guards watching, watching it closely because already there's some stones are stolen. 
Erdogan, he was bragging the other day about the stone they have in the in Istanbul, in Constantinia. So those are the stone. This one is left. So what is the black stone? So if Allah is God and He is going, He sent this stone to stay forever until Judgment Day, and then we find that there's nothing left of the stone. And how we guarantee even that those little rocks isn't from the original black stone? He was incapable of of preserving the Quran uh, because we know that in Hadith um, there are verses of the Quran that that were eaten by a, a goat. Yeah, but this is a good goat, you know. This is a goat. We, we have to be, be truthful here. This goat, the Jewish, they send the goat, you know. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this goat, she worked for Israel. And those Jewish, you know, you know, you know the Jewish. She's, you know? she's from Mossad. Yeah, she's from the Mossad. And look, I want to I want to make the black stone according to Muhammad description. So this is the black stone. I will make her look beautiful. And here, you know, this is the eyes of the black stone. She is. I'm not seeing anything, uh, Christian Prince. I'm not saying I'm not saying anything. Uh, uh, I am in YouTube. Maybe you are not uh, in YouTube. Ah, it's okay, okay, okay. No problem. Yeah. No problem. So the black stone is going to have mouth, <laughs> and it's going to have tongue. You know, I am assuming that the black stone tongue is maybe red, but I will make it uh, yellow this time. And she is going to witness for the Muslims. You know, yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. it's always like this because even if um, at the end of the day. Um, my mom told me that, um, you know, when it will be war between Muslims and, um, and Jews, it's mm -hmm. always like this, mm -hmm. always the Jews. And, um, there, um, there will be, um, trees, <laughs> trees that were, um, yeah. Trees will would would talk about our Jews because yeah. Jews will be will be behind them and mm -hmm. they will say hey hey there's a Jew behind me yeah kill him you know it's yeah 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 but yeah. it's always like it's it's uh, it's like a cartoon it is and not only that those <laughs> it's are like the, a cartoon with uh, magic and and they are they are just promoting hate it's not because, serious because you know why you want to go in war with the Jews and that will destroy the whole earth you know Israel now have power enough to burn the whole earth, not only the enemy, the Muslims. So what is the purpose of this hate? And where, where this hate will take us, you know? What 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 will accomplish with this? So uh, uh, this is the hadith in Sahih Bukhari. Muhammad, he said, the hour will not establish until you fight the Jews and the stone behind which the Jews will be hiding, he will, he will say, oh, Muslim, there is a Jew behind me, kill him. Yeah. Pure hate, you know, pure hate. Pure you see, hate. compare yeah. between Jesus and the statement Jesus was in the cross the one who put him in the cross is the rabbis <laughs> and Jesus saying forgive them father they do not know what they are doing right Muhammad is not yet killed by the Jews he's alive and he's saying mm -hmm. prophecy that a Muslim is his duty until the judgment day is to kill the Jews for sure many people who they hate they hate the Jews they will love this story here and that will promote war for in this time, as long as people believe in this, there is no peace between Israel and Muslims. Will never happen, as long they believe that Muhammad is a prophet. This is why, you know, for when when uh, when uh, they say Israel they sign a peace agreement with Israel, I laugh because there is no such a thing. Mm -hmm. Because this is this is a hypocrisy agreement. Both of them, both sides, they knew that it's just a matter of time. If the Muslims they get their power, they will attack Israel. Uh, and even the Quran forbid the Muslims uh, from seeking peace unless they are not the uppermost, which means temporarily. So, if you know, uh, if if they are, uh, if they are the uppermost, as chapter forty-seven, verse number thirty-five, it says, "So be not weak and ask for peace from the enemies of Islam." while you are having the upper hand so when they seek peace when they don't have the upper hand temporarily until they have the upper hand and then they will attack mm -hmm. yeah very faithful religion so we go back to our topic you know i don't want to keep you longer why don't accept the messiah you know, you know if 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 you agree with me that it's possible for god to be one and three or even one I, I, I was i was going to, to to tell you can you 
can you um can you tell me about uh Jesus? About who he who he is? You know, if you want to know Jesus, you know, you you need you need to be in love to know Jesus. If you are a person who have hatred in your heart, if you are a person who don't forgive, you will never know Jesus. Jesus is love on this earth. When love enter your heart, you do not need anyone to introduce Jesus to you. Jesus is forgiveness, Jesus is loving, Jesus is caring, and Jesus is to be like him. When you are in the cross, you say, Father, forgive them, they do not know what they are doing. So you can you know, know Jesus. Muslims, mm -hmm. Muslims um, they, they see um, Jesus like a weak person. They can say whatever because, they want. It's, it's the opposite. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah the, it's the, it's the, the, the opposite is the because one who they forgive. are full of hate. Yeah. The one who can forgive is the strong one, not the weak yeah. one. You know, yeah. Because it's still in my heart I can hate you. This does not need to be weak or strong. Jesus, he forgave them. And remember, God, he forgive us and as long we can be forgiven, which means he gave us a chance to live this life. And after that, there's no forgiveness. That's it. You've been given all the chance. So uh, you have the chance to, to be forgiven, but after life, the forgiveness opportunity is gone. So Jesus is loving, Jesus is amazing, Jesus is etc. But Jesus, when he comes second time, <clears throat> he will come as a judge. And a judge in the court, he will not be nice to you if you are a criminal. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A judge, like... We can fix the problem between me and you, let us say now, but there is a time when we are in the court, this court is serious. Jesus, the one you know, as he is forgiven, he will not forgive you. Because he did everything saying, please, follow me, please. You know, I mean, what he can do, he came, he washed feet. And he said to his disciple, if you don't let me wash your feet, I do not know you. Which means he ordered his disciple to be people who wash feet. He said to them, What about you miracles? <coughs> Before we what, did he, miracle, what, what did he do? Everything. Name one thing he did not do. You know, I don't know. I'm, 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 I, mean, I'm, 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 I mean, even in the Quran, it speaks about Jesus resurrecting people from death. Jesus making the blind see. Jesus can heal mm -hmm. the leper. Jesus can tell you even what you hide in your house is. Jesus, he can create it from the mother bird. <coughs> so, God, God do what, what God do, you know? When the Quran say how God can have a son and he don't have a girlfriend, that because the God of Islam is man-made. My God, he can have a son without having a wife. Who need a wife? This is a this is the logic of a human being. This is an answer mm -hmm. of a human being, not an answer of God. It's like I you know imagine you say to God, how you can create the earth, <coughs> but there's no rocks and dirt yet. You know. Yeah. But if he's God, then he's God. He can do that without you know. He, he just say you know. So there there the question of the Quran is very silly. It's very stupid, and it does not make sense. But for us, God is called God for he can, not because he cannot. God of Islam, he cannot. When he say how God can have a, girl, a son without girlfriend, then the Quran forget to mention, that means when you say that Mary, she have a child without a husband, that's a lie then. Because how can Mary have a child and she have no boyfriend? <coughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So how can our God do that? Allah cannot do that. And this is a contradiction for the Quran at the same time. So Jesus, to, to know Jesus, I advise you, is uh, when you read a story in the Bible, try to find yourself in the story. Like, you know, this is what I do. Try it. It might, you know, it might be helpful. <clears throat> I have something stuck. I was drinking coffee and little coffee mm -hmm. things stuck in my throat. <laughs> <clears> throat> so, 
try to do this. When you read a story in the Bible, try to imagine yourself one of those audience who are there and try to find what is your vision of the story. Like, you know, when we sit in a place, if you go to the theater, if you watch the movie from the right, it's the same movie. You will see something different, but if you watch it from the left, you will see something different. If you watch it from the middle, you will see something different. What is that? What different mean? Your, your location of the scene will change how much you observe of it. If they put you at the end of the hall, hard to, to, to see, is not someone like someone, he is in the middle seat where the whole screen in front of him. So try to find yourself, where are you? You are in the middle, you are at the end, what you see, how you feel. Try to live the story, not to read the story. When the, when the people, they came to Jesus, and, uh, they, sorry, the Jews, they are uh, 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 trying to stone a woman, a Jewish woman. Uh, mm -hmm. And Jesus, he, uh, he, he did a certain act, which is strange. Uh, he was focusing in something, and the Jews are focusing in something else. The Jews, they have target to do, and Jesus have different target to do. The Jews, they want to stone the women. Jesus, he want to show them that they are a bunch of hypocrite and they don't qualify for the job. So he said to them, if one of you don't have sin, cast your stone. Think with me. I am there in the front of Jesus. Did they say me and you, we were Jews at that time. And the Jews are going to stone that woman. And Jesus saying to them, you see, he did not stand and say, you are wrong. He did not, because he knew that they would argue and they will fight. Mm -hmm. He knew that we would say, she committed adultery, blah, blah, blah. It says, it says, etc. So we are following the law. He just said to them, very simple sentence. Who of you, if one of you, he don't have sin, cast your stone. So Jesus showed them in a second, they are a bunch of hypocrite. <laughs> they are casting stone at a woman for she is a sinner, but all of them, they are no better. All of them, they are sinners with no exception. They are hypocrite, they are false, and they made, they place themselves instead of God. So try to find yourself in a story like this. Not necessarily a story. Where are you? What you will be? You will be the woman that people want to stone her, and Jesus will save you. You will be the one who want to stone the women, and Jesus rebuking you. Or maybe you will be a disciple of Jesus, and learning from him and being amazed. Or maybe you will be rejecting. So when you read a story from Jesus, try to live the story, not to read the story. Yeah, well, I will, uh, I will go through the Bible and I will learn and compare it to 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 the Quran. You can always compare the teaching will, of Christ to, uh, to others. I will feel it. I will feel, you know. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. I will feel the. This is mm -hmm. what I'm saying. You have to live the story, not to read the story. You know, like yeah. when I when when we are reading, let us say, uh, let us say, a sister of yours. She sent you an email or a letter saying, "My, you know, I'm uh, sad because this happened, this happened. Even though you are her sister and you love her very much, still you will not feel really what she feel. Because what happened, happened to her, not to you. You are yeah. just a receiver on the news. You love her, mm -hmm. you feel for her, but you will not feel the exact pain. If somebody have a fever, you will not know what fever mean unless you have a fever. So when you read the Bible, the story is different. As long you are reading to live the story, not reading to read words, because words mean nothing unless we don't we live them. So Jesus on the cross, what Jesus on the cross mean? There's suffering, there's blood, there's pain. 
There's people shouting. There's people hating. There's people um, want to kill him. Could, CP, CP, I have a question. Okay. Why, um, why, um, why Christians uh, picture uh, Jesus? This is not from the Bible, you know. In 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 the in, in cross. Well, the guy the guy died in the cross. Why? Not the you guy. Are he wearing... is, say Jesus, not the guy. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, the the poor the poor guy that died in the, on on the cross. Why will you put a, a necklace, you know, a jewelry mm. with a cross on it? I mean, it's it's um, no, you see, it's not logical there, to there's me. There's nothing you know? wrong with having a, a necklace uh, have a cross in it, but it's not right to put a, a, a person in the cross because the Messiah is not there anymore, and there's nothing to resemble, resemble him anyway. But anyway. You need to remember that those things people they do, it's not in the Bible. It's not uh, Jesus said he go and make a cross. You know, it's not Jesus said, put a cross in your neck. So people they do things as a symbolic to remember for, the, him? for love of Jesus, and we believe in a protection of the of uh, of the cross of Jesus. At the same time, what does that mean? That means Jesus he died for me, and I believe in his cross, not the cross as a piece of metal. The cross as a what he did, you know. So I oh, ended like a, a symbol. A, yeah, okay. as a symbol. At the same time, for me, I believe I believe the cross is is a is a powerful, you know, a, a, sim, a symbol of Christ, and I believe that the cross is something for me to have with me wherever I go. Uh, I have a cross in my car, yeah. you know. So uh, this is a personal belief, but it's not, you know. The Bible says you do that. You know what I mean? It's not mm -hmm. it's not biblical really to to carry a cross like Jesus said I should carry 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 a cross and follow me, but he don't mean really to carry like a piece of wood, you know, in the shape of a cross. And you no, know, he mean carry your pain and you will be crucified. People will kill you. People will hate you. It's a cross, you know. So it's a cross on you, not on others. Because the second you follow me, people will hate you. So. The cross is a symbolic of what Jesus did, and me myself, I believe in it. You know, I believe in 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 the, in the cross uh, power, but I don't believe in a piece of wood. That is not what I believe. I believe in the cross of Jesus, which He died on, and I don't mean still the piece of wood. I mean what Jesus did. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's there are things it's from the Bible teaching and there's things people they do have nothing to do really with the Bible. As an example, uh, the image of Jesus, like the, there is some historian they say that there is a, a towel have the image of Jesus in it, and from that image they printed pictures. But there's nowhere Jesus says make an image of me or print an image of me. Actually, the Bible says the opposite. The Bible says make no image what is above in the sky or down on earth. Nothing. Don't make images, especially if it's images for uh, 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 religious purpose. Now, everybody, he give his own interpretation, but that will not affect really the belief. The belief is, do you believe in Jesus or not? We don't want to be the same as the Jews or the same as the Muslims who focus in little details and they ignore the important thing. The important thing is, love your enemy, love to your neighbor what you love to yourself. If you practice that, this is all the book. All okay, the Bible, what about all the you? Torah is about about loving your, you know, loving to others what you love to yourself. Yeah. What about you, uh, CP? What um, were you were you uh, Muslim before no. you are no. uh, Christian? I never, I never, you, you know, since I was as I was a child, I believe I was so smart to be a Muslim. Sorry, I don't want to insult you, but. No, 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 no. Yeah, but this is a very stupid thought... religion. This is very stupid religion <laughs> to be in it for a second for me. You know. I thought I thought you were a Muslim and then you converted to. No, but according to, to Muhammad, according to Muhammad, I was a Muslim. According to Muhammad, everyone is born as a Muslim. <laughs> yeah, this was according to yeah. him. Yeah. So according to Muhammad, all the there's seven billions are ex-Muslims, <laughs> which is very funny. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say the they say this uh, Muslims. They say that we are all born in uh, in, in Islam. Yeah. Are, we are all Muslim. 
Yeah. Do you have more questions about Christ? You know, I'm trying no. to help you. So what do no, you think no, really? Thanks. What what do you think about Christ? I mean, I for me I would love to see you accepting the Messiah as your savior. And I I you know, uh I, I don't know how, how much you watch my videos, but uh Oh. I I'm, I'm it's like um I don't know. I th there's there's a thing. Um do you have one channel or do you have several channels? Because well, I don't ev understand. Everybody, everybody copy my videos by, by my permission oh. and I allow them. Yeah. You see, for so me, your okay. So people, your channel is is Christian Prince. Yeah, That's this one, it. and I have the Arabian Prophet. Those are official. The rest are just uh, you know people they uh, copy my videos. Okay, yeah. okay. But okay. for me, you see, because I don't care about how many subscribers I have. I care about spreading the message. Some yeah. some, oh. pe some people they get upset if you download their video and they will flag you. They want because want people to come to their channel, right? Yeah. For yeah. me, I don't care for this. I care how many people we can save <laughs> and how many subscribers. Who care? The Lord Himself, He have twelve disciples. Twelve disciples, you know, just twelve. You know. So if I am if I have thirteen, I'm really lucky. You know. So I don't want to have. I don't mean to have disciples. I mean to have people who listen, uh, because I'm nobody. I'm not a prophet. I'm not a priest. I don't even claim to be good for only God is good and no one else. So for us, what is important is, is to have someone like you, listen to someone like me, sharing the truth and leaving Islam. And maybe we can save you. You know, you Jesus. know, uh, you know, CP, I, I think I left Islam. Um, maybe several years, years ago. Okay. And I, 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 I didn't even know that. Yeah. Because you know, you know, you know, for Muslims, if if you leave Islam, um, you're like um, an, or, an an orphan, an orphan. Yeah. I mean, I mean, um, now that I know for sure that Islam is not the truth, because of you, because you show uh, through hadiths, through uh, Quran. Um, I know for sure that now I cannot be a Muslim anymore. Um, but I, I, I have to, to, to make time to read, yeah. to, um, you know, because I was born in a religion. I, I've, uh, I didn't choose, um, Islam, I but understand. now I have, I have the choice. I have choice to, to make my own judgment and, I'm um, I'm grown enough to um, to read and to interpret 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 uh, very well. Um, so now I'm I'm going to make uh, time to, to 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 read the Bible and uh, see this uh, very very calmly. I want to share Sorry with you something. My before... No, no, your English is fine. <laughs> I want to share yeah. with you something very important. Yeah. Uh, one of the major things in Islam which women they care for is a relationship with the man, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. In Islam, there's no relationship between men and women. There's no love. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no love. Yeah. There's no love, and there's That's no true. and there's no God, and there's no purpose except sexual contract. With the Christ the man he have to love his wife and he have to give himself to his wife the same as the messiah he gave himself to the church so the messiah in in the uh, uh, in the in, in, in the bible he teaches us that in order to be a man of god you have to be a servant in your house before you are a master the master is a servant not the one who people serve in Islam you are a servant you see the Bible says the wife she have to obey her husband yeah. that's true but she obey him because of love and he give himself to her serving her too because of love not because of orders you see the difference mm-hmm so when a man he love his wife, he love God, 
And when a man he serve his his house, he serve God, and vice versa. So you are not obeying your husband because he is your master and he you are his, <laughs> his slave. You are you are obeying your husband because you love him and he do the same to you. The same they as always, the Messiah gave yeah, himself yeah. to the church. So Christians uh, put Jesus first, and then the relationship, because they're they're too um, serving him. But in the in comparison of um, of Islam, it's always the woman obeying her husband, and that's it. There's no we're doing we're doing this for for God or. I mean, it's 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 always based on on fear. Let me show you what the Bible says. The Bible says, "Love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church, and he gave and gave himself for it." Here you notice that your husband is not the master who is controlling you. No, God he. He is a servant of God, and like he, you. if you want to be the good example, he gave himself, he, what Jesus did, Jesus, he put himself in the cross. Jesus, he is willing to die for us. So the Bible says, you have to love your wife to the point you are willing to die for the sake of your wife and your children. That is love. Anything else is not. Yeah, I'm feeling it. So you cannot be married to a man. He just wants to use you. He marry you just to put you in the kitchen to clean dishes and give him babies. Mm -hmm. And then when you get a little yeah. older, he go to the bank. He takes some money and he get a new wife. That yeah, like like muta. Exactly. Like, uh, Islam is a muta anyway. So disgusting. Because oh. in Islam there is no marriage. This is why in Christianity divorce is very difficult. Why? Yeah. Because it's not you know we are not here for fun you know i did it's not a commitment you did not marry the girl because oh she is pretty and now she is not so now i'm going to get someone else like muhammad he used to do he stopped having sex with sauda because she became older so uh, uh, uh she is still his wife why you want to why you don't want to why you ignore her because she is older as simple as that she is old why you want to go to the house of someone she is over 60 when there is someone in my house you know and he is a perverted he likes children she is six years old you know and even Muhammad he advised Muslims uh, once a Muslim guy he uh, his name is Jabir uh, he get married and he want to go home fast uh, so Muhammad he told him hey Jabir why are you why are you are in a rush he said I am newly married he said, did you marry a virgin, young, or you married a previously married woman? The man, he said, a previously married woman, which means either a widow or a divorced, you know? Yeah. Muhammad, what he said to him, look how evil he is. He said, why? Why you don't marry a virgin? And here, the word is jaria, and meant a young little girl. So look what evil, how evil this man. Imagine. God, I hate married. him so much. Yeah, you are, imagine, imagine <laughs> this, imagine this. You are married, and now you, your husband coming home. And then there's a guy, his name is Muhammad, walking with him. He asked him, did you get married? He said, yes. Oh, I married to this girl. She is a widow, let's say. And then he, Muhammad, he said to him, why? Why you do that? Why you don't marry a little young girl so she can, what is the purpose? So she can play with you. Play? Mm, you see the perverted? Play with you. Yeah. yeah. So she can amuse you and you can amuse her. She can sport with you. This guy is a perverted man. He loved to play with the children. The guy, he said to him, well, I did not do that because my brother, he died and he left me a bunch of orphan girls and I did not like, I wanted to bring a woman, not a child like them. <laughs> so imagine the wise prophet is advising his man to have a child wife instead of having a mature growing woman. And the man is already He's married. He's so sick. 
Yeah, this it's is so he, he's so sick. And and the man is already married. Why you are making the man thinking again about his marriage? The guy is obviously yeah. like his wife. Otherwise, he would not be a rush to go home. So yeah, yeah, yeah. why you are make, playing with his mind? And especially now you are a prophet. People listen to you. So why he's you are not saying, a prophet? He's yeah, a fraud. I know. I mean, but he's supposedly now he's a prophet, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. so the prophet is advising me, saying to me, "Why you marry this woman? Why? Why you don't go and get a child so you can sport with her and she can sport with you? What kind of advice is advice? What kind of a man this man is? And the hypocrite Muhammad, when Ali he wanted to marry second wife over his wife, which supposedly the daughter of Muhammad, Muhammad he went against it. <laughs> Why? Because suppose she is his daughter. So how come yeah. anyone can marry over his wife, but not over your daughter? You see, women' right is important for Muhammad only when it is his daughter. You cannot do that to my daughter. So he knew that this is not wrong, not right. Otherwise, he would say, "So what? Yeah, marry, if you believe in it." But rejecting Ali to marry over his daughter, obviously, he don't believe that this is the right thing to do. That will hurt his daughter. This is how evil this man is. And a man, he will advise any man anyway to go and not to love his wife and find somebody else. She is younger. He is doing evil because that would destroy a family. None of your business. A, yeah. a, a man of God should preserve the marriage and advise. If the guy is saying to you, I'm thinking divorce, he say, think again, man. Don't do that. Think, think again. He is playing with his mind. And the guy is not even complaining, like he is not saying, I am fighting with her, she is not good to me. No. He is giving him the, his own logic that why you don't get a child who so she can play with you and you play with her. It's always about sex. Everything is about sex. Islam is, is, is yeah. a sexual religion. There's nothing but yeah. sex. Yeah. Well, I'm so yeah. glad that you call me. And you know what? You can, you yeah. Know, uh, I, I really thank you so much because I've never thought that I will be uh live on <laughs> on YouTube with you. <laughs> no problem, I'm, I'm um, happy to have you. I, you know, always you can call me. I don't go, I don't take calls from people when I am not online. I like to my, my call to be public, everybody hear it, you know. And yeah. uh, you can call me anytime you see me live in YouTube, yeah. And yeah. I go in, in Skype only when I'm live. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. Feel free. I hope next time. I hope next okay, time. Okay. Thank you. I, I pray. I ask the Christians here to pray for our sister here, uh, <laughs> to see to see the to Messiah to see the Messiah to see the truth and the truth will set her free. We pray. I I, I, I hope I hope I will because you know CP I'm I'm very sad. You know there's sadness in me. Um, I I am not able to to find the truth through um through islam and it's it's it affects me so um i hope very 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 soon that i i will i will find the truth you see, and it's it will it will release me <laughs> yes you see jesus jesus he, he said search for the truth and the truth will will set you free imagine the truth will set you free very wise very short very strong yeah. very amazing because nobody can set you free except knowing the truth, you know? Like, let us say yeah. you are a person, uh, you want to go and do something, whatever, if, uh, you take a job, but maybe this job is bad for me. If I know the truth it's like about you are it, a prisoner. It's like you are a prisoner of, 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 yeah. uh, of false news around you. You don't know what to do, you know? I understand yeah. you. But with the Messiah, there's no name better than his name in this earth or in heaven. There's no person he did what he did anywhere. There's no other person to follow better than him. He said, love your enemy. Who can do that? Love your enemy. If you reach the point to love even the enemies who they one day they hurt you, you are free, my sister. The Messiah will free you because hate is a prison. Hate is a poison. We drink and we kill ourselves every day. He will free you from your hate. He will free you from your pain. He will free you from your anger. He will free you from all the rules they put in the top of your head. The one who said to you, because you are a woman, you are not equal creature. Yeah. God, the Messiah himself, he is born of a woman. From a woman. Imagine. And that woman, if she is not amazing, there's no way that God himself, he will be born from a woman. 
So in, the, in Christianity, you have a special place. You are not just, as they claim to make you, a woman in the kitchen, a woman who make babies. You are not a chicken who lay eggs. Yeah, it is, Islam is made for men. It's, it's a religion by made by the men and for the men. Exactly. This you, is cannot, Maybe you, you, you cannot be a, a woman and believe in Islam. It's yeah, not is, possible. For me, this, it's not logical. This is what a woman from Somalia a long time ago, she said to me, I don't know if you heard me saying that before, this phrase. She said, Islam is made by the men for the men. That's why I'm leaving Islam. She said, I'm not leaving Islam yes. because of you. I'm leaving Islam because, it, yes, you helped me. I mean, you, I made the decision because of you. But I, the reason, the real reason, Islam is a religion made by the man for the man. Muhammad, he needs fighters and he gave them all the privilege. And women, they are not the one who will carry the sword anyway, so who care? You know, have fun. So women, they became a tool. And the funny is, you know, uh, once I was doing a, a seminar and a Muslim, he stood and he was so angry. He said, do you know that the prophet, he said, uh, the women, he said that the women, she have no reward in heaven. Do you know that he said that she will be 70 times more pretty? I said, really? He said, yeah. He said, 70 times? He said, yeah. I said, okay, let's see how stupid is what you said. The guy get more upset because I use the word stupid. You know, I'm very natural. I don't, you know, I say, I say <laughs> what, you know. Yeah, so I said, let us see how stupid what you said. So let us say we have three girls and they are going all to heaven. All right? So yeah. let us say we have uh, Fatima. Let us uh, put the name Fatima here. And we will use the word letter F for Fatima. Oh. Uh, F. Okay, let's make it capital uh, It's a new keyboard. Okay, F. And F is uh, Fatima. She is uh, not good looking girl, let us say, in the average of a human being measurement. And then there's a woman, her name, let us say, uh, Aisha. A. And she is twice more uh, pretty than the first girl, Fatima. And then there's a girl, the third girl. Let's say her name is uh, uh, Soda. Soda. And Soda, she is three times more pretty than the first one, which means twice she is pretty more than Aisha. And now we are going to make them all 70 times more pretty. So Fatima will be more 70 times more pretty. Yeah. And then Aisha, she will be uh, 120 times more pretty. <laughs> and then, are you getting the point? And now... <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so not 120. Sorry, the number is wrong. So, uh, 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 one, one, uh, uh, 140. Sorry. So, yeah, uh, uh, but I mean, you, you got, you got, you got the, you got the, you got the point. So, yeah. she is still ugly. Nothing changed. She was yeah, ugly. The same. In, she was ugly in the <laughs> earth. She is ugly in heaven. Poor girl. Because as long all of them, they will increase seventy time. So here we go. Now Aisha, actually, you know, it's more horrible because now she is in heaven and that's it. She's stuck with this look, <laughs> you know? So what we, will, what we will do now, you know, like, uh, 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 what is the solution for this? There's no solution. That's it. This is the reward. And same time, this beauty is to what? There's only one man. He can see her. She is jailed in her tent. No woman can see her. No friends. Nobody. All of them, they are wives. And their duty is to sing to the guy and do belly dancing. So the guy, when he saw this, he said, where, where do you get those numbers from? I said, Abdul, listen, focus with me. Step Potato. Potato. <laughs> oh my God, you know, you always, you always finish with me. You always finish. <laughs> yeah, you know, but you know, he got upset. He said, where do you get those numbers? They are not there. I just said to you 70 times. I said, okay, 70 times. Let us say there's three girls, you know, one, her name is Fatima. One, her name is Aisha. One, her name is Sauda. Fatima is not good looking. Aisha is twice more pretty. Sauda is three times more pretty. And now all of them, they will be 70 times more pretty. Nothing changed. The ugly is still ugly. And the pretty is still pretty. 
nothing changed. And Aisha still she feels that she is middle between. She is not the top because nothing changed. So what is the point of the stupidity? Nothing. Whoever said that to you is an idiot. And the yes, guy indeed. And later I I look at his chair, he was empty. He left. You know, he could not take it no more. You know, it mm. was too much potato for him. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, they come. To, they come to you. With they answers. have no brain. They have no brain. <clears throat> they don't uh, want to think. You know, they don't want to think. <clears throat> no. Yeah, but anyway, I, I know. I feel sorry for you because I thought you like to be three times more, uh, seventy times more pretty, and now you will not be seventy times more pretty. <laughs> sorry for you. And you know, if I am you, I will accept Islam again because you want to be seventy times more pretty. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, I, I, I hate it so so much. Yeah, it's just for me. For for me, for me, it's not. It's not logical. It's not logical. It's because not about, it's a commitment. It's not just about logic. It's about stupidity. You know, it's, it's not because yeah, it's stupid. Because, because there's things is not logical too. As an example, let us say, uh, you know, when is it logical that Mary? I mean, logical according to science. Is it logical that Mary she have a child but she have no husband? That doesn't make sense, correct? No, no it doesn't because make science. Sense. Sanya doesn't say such a thing. There's no woman she can have a child without. So the logic is saying that men plus women in bedroom, it's possible for them to have a child. Women alone, she's, you leave her alone in the bedroom for 10 centuries, she will not have a child, correct? Mm -hmm. So what we speak about logical is the purpose. So in Christianity, it makes sense that Jesus have no father because he is God who came to earth and he, has, he is not the son of any man. In Islam, it does not make any sense. Because if this is a miracle, well, nobody can prove it. You know what I mean? If my mother, she claimed that she had me without having a man, who can prove it wrong? Nobody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyone can claim that. So what is the purpose of this then? God don't do miracles for showing off, especially if the miracle is nobody can prove it. There's a reason in Christianity that Jesus is born of a woman, but he have no father as a man, for he is the son of God. This is his father. And Mary, she is not the wife of God. Mary is just a vessel where Jesus came through to this earth to be born of the Jews so the Jews will accept because the Jews, they were waiting for the Messiah who is supposed to is born of a Jews tribe who will lead them. So the purpose served the logic. And with the Messiah story in Christianity, there is a logic of Jesus is being born with no man. But you understand there is no logic. What Allah he proved by doing such a thing when nobody can witness. You see, if there is no witnesses for the miracle, then there is no purpose of the miracle. But what is the purpose? God, he don't do a miracle for no reason. He do it so they might believe. Even the Quran confirmed that, so they might believe. So everything in the in the Bible, even the one which is not agreement in with science, is logical when you connect it to the faith. It's not logical when you go by science. But by the faith, there is reasoning why Jesus is born. Why he have no father? The faith explained, and that makes sense. But in science, such a thing is impossible. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? So yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. Need, you need to think about about uh, about the logic in different approach, because logic mm -hmm. is always have a have a have a have a let us say have an attitude where you are looking f from what kind of attitude you are looking at. If I'm a Muslim now, I will always see my logic in a different way. And I claim that I have a logic. You know, a Christian, he too, he claimed to have a logic. An atheist, he have his own logic. But reality is, which logic is really, if I strip myself from everything, from being Muslim, being Christian, or being atheist, a person who is looking for a truth, which one is more close to, let us say, enlighten my mind, about something can be true. Then we will find where the truth. 
Otherwise, each one of those, he have his own logic, and they oppose each other. An atheist, he don't believe in God. He believed he was a mosquito. Then he became a chicken. Then he became a monkey. And then became a human. You cannot debate such a person. And yet he have no proof, by the way. I mean, all of is a theory. And theory is a theory. You know, if, a, if you believe that the unseen uh, cannot be proven, that they say God uh, is unseen, what do you believe in unseen too? You know, you and as an atheist, you believe in Big Bang, which nobody's seen. No witness for it. But you believe in it, and you teach it in school as a, as a fact, when the fact, no fact about it. And one day, science will discover something new, and they will forget about the, the previous theory. This is what they do through history. In a certain time, the earth was a flat for scientists. After that, they discovered they are a bunch of fools, and now they forgot about it. So, science is a step of recognizing things, knowing things, by practice and by time. God is recognizing God even before seeing him if we are open for God to be received by us an atheist is a person who want to receive a signal from God but he believe only the signal will come through a satellite because he believed in science and machines a Christian he is a person who believe that he can re receive a signal from God without satellite his satellite is his heart, is his mind. And reality is that a human being is the one who made the satellite. So how the satellite can do what my heart cannot do? And I'm not talking about the, te the technical part. I'm talking about if I am capable of creating the satellite, can the satellite create me? You know what I mean? Because if they believe yeah. in Big Bang, that's mean Big Bang created them, and Big Bang, the result of it is creating them, and then they created the satellite, and then satellite make them recognize the Big Bang. How fool. So they did not recognize the, the Big Bang except by satellite. And what satellite give them? Pimples in the sky. Pimples. There's not even there's not even images. You see when NASA they make image? <laughs> Yeah, and NASA, when they make images, if you go to the NASA website, those are not true yeah. images. Those are, uh, you know, like uh, Photoshop images. So they add colors to them, they add uh, circle to them. But in reality, you don't see exactly the image you see in the picture. They try to make something out of it. I will, I will tell you one thing before you go, so you can, because I don't want the atheist to drive you away from Christ. Uh, the, the, the American, they were talking about receiving signal from alien in different galaxy for more than 20 years, something. Every day, every day, they receive the same signal. Every day, every day, almost the same time. 20 years, and the newspaper, you can search it in the news. The newspaper talk about it, you know, like, you know, today they receive, blah, blah, and they are trying to understand the language, etc. And then after 20 years, they found that there is a guy who is making tea or coffee, in the microwave <laughs> when they turn the microwave in certain time every day in the morning they receive the signal it was a microwave signal you know it was just a guy making tea and the news talk about it and the atheist make article the christians they are wrong the religious are wrong here we go there's different creature blah 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 etc and make big fuss about it and they became victorious supposedly and then we find it was a stupid microwave. When the microwave broke, the signal stopped working, and there's no signal, you know? And then they changed the microwave, there's no more signal, you know? And they are the one who discovered it was the micro microwave. So people who, this is how a human being can be delusioned to the point even scientists can accept that microwave is their new god. And they made a study and they are trying to to analyze the, the 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 messages and what does that mean maybe those are letters maybe this is a sentence maybe this is a message from etc a different civilization it is just a microwave and the funny they say we receive today a microwave even they put the title a microwave message they they, they knew it's a microwave message but they do not know it's the microwave next door <laughs> <laughs> So this is why I say stupidity is amazing and stupidity can come from every kind of creatures, even those who claim to be scientists. This is what I wanted to say to you. So 
I don't I science is a true but science is not uh, a belief science is a practice the practice lead me to know it's not really a belief it is not a, a, even a discovery we we try to learn about things around us this is what science is we give you medicine we keep trying medicine with rats with rats we kill millions of rats before we find a medicine to the human and then we will give the medicine to the human we tell the human that this medicine can cause heart attack, can cause blood bleeding, can cause blah, 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 you know? This is always, they write it in a small text in the, in the, in the box, yeah. you know? They, will not, they don't want you to read it because if you read it, you will, you will vomit, you will die before even taking the medicine. So where is the science? Yeah. There's no science. The science is nothing but yeah. the practice. They practice on you as a rat. And then if it work, they collect the money and they have copyright over it. And nobody can make the drug which is supposedly made by science to serve a human being. But in fact, reality, it is not to serve a human being. They are fighting over money, how much money we will make. So even our science is evil. And the only medicine which have no return, or let us say nobody asks you for return, is the one is coming from the Messiah. Otherwise, all medicine in the world is not for free. And companies who make medicine, they are not doing it because they are doing charity. They just yeah, want to, they, they that's wanna, for sure. They want to use you. So thank you, Lately, my sister. Lately, we've seen this. Thank you, my sister, for calling. I would like to hear you say, soon calling me and telling me the good <laughs> news about you thinking or accepting the Messiah. Read the Bible and I take my advice to live the story, not to read the story. Yeah. Any, anything yeah, else yeah. before we, uh, we say goodbye to everybody uh, from you? No, thank you. Thank you very much for having me. All right. You are welcome. And um... I, we pray that your family yeah. will listen to you more and your family, your mother especially, you know. And by the way, we as a Christians, we advise everybody, if you accept the Christ, to love the Muslims. So if you become a Christian, I hope so, love your mother, love your family. Yeah, of course. Even I'm not them. like them. Yeah, I even love, <laughs> them. I don't have... even love them more, yeah. you know, even love them more. And because yeah. Christ inside you will move you to love everybody around. So thank you for calling and we pray for you. Thank you. To be Bye, CP. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. God bless. Bye. Bye. I was planning to go live on air for like 20 minutes, as usual. And now it's 3 hours, 27 minutes, as usual. It's not 8 hours yet, you know. Uh, <clears throat> but, you know, God is good. And as you see, Muslims are leaving Islam. The second they see how silly, how stupid this cult is, it's a silly it's a cult. I mean, this is this is really silly. Even it's not even convincing for a kid. You know, imagine there's somebody you say to a kid, "Believe in Allah, I give you candies." Well, if Allah is good, why you don't give me the candies before I believe? Why you make a condition of the candies? So Allah He made the women their candies. And when you will get it after life. So now he speak to your hormone as a horny man. You are waiting for the candies. The beautiful women who take Allah 1000 years to make each one of them. Why? It take a thousand years for Allah to smooth their skin. Hey Allah, you never heard of Vaseline? You never heard of Nivea? One thousand years? I make a condition for the candies. So yes, Mansoor. Mute you too, please. Mute you too. Oh, okay. Hello? Mansoor, you there now? Yeah, 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 I'm here. How are you, Mansoor? Yeah, no, you finally met Christian Prince. I'm going to meet myself. You guys can talk. All right, thank okay. you. Okay. How are you doing, Mansoor? I'm fine. Okay. Alhamdulillah. How about you? Alhamd what Alhamdulillah mean? Okay, that is that is a different point that you say that uh, I'm just asking you. Yeah. I have heard a lot of your videos and <clears throat> these things. You are just mocking Islam and you are just throwing bad words on Islam and like attacking what? Islam in like this what? way. Like what? Let, Can you give me an example? Can you give me an example? Can you give me an example? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
one day you were saying you were saying that Allah is a lizard and these things and and those bad words you are just making like a drama and you are just making and making the people fool like this this is not a good work hmm. even you don't have your idea about god about you worship three gods you worship trinity as a uh, as uh, three gods as but one god i heard that what we worship this? four you know you see you just said a second ago you said we worship three god and now you just said we worship three god as one god so it is three god or one god I am telling you, this, what what is this idea? You are you say that you are you are uh, monotheistic. What is this? If you uh, if we ask you that what mm. is what is the, the Trinity? You say that Trinity is the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mm. Okay, what is this? What is the, uh, what is the Trinity? Everyone is God individually. You mm. say yes. Mm. So where is that? These three gods stopped at three. How about the fourth one? How about the the the, the sixth one? How about the the, the where where it, where in the Bible it says that it's stopped at that three? That is a good question. Every that's a good question. Let me okay. Yeah, let me tell you something else. Okay, well, let no, me tell you something. Well, 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 no, no, well, and, hang on. We, we one, we one, one by one. Let me let me tell you something. Okay. Let me tell you something. Tell me something. And and the Hebrew, and the Hebrew, hmm. and your Bible, and the and the New Testament, okay. and the Hebrew chapter seven, hmm. chapter seven, verse one to three. Okay. It says that there is there is a person who has the qualities of, like God. Who is this person? You don't know. These are man-made verses in, uh, you, in your Bible. Okay. His name is Melchizedek. Okay. He, you you just fool people like this, and you are just mocking Islam. And uh, that way, you 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 are just fooling yourself. Okay. You are just taking taking partners with God. That's okay. not a good idea. That you are attacking Islam like this way. Uh, th this way, and you every time you are. Uh, just mocking and joking on Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay. This is not a good idea. Right. This is not a good idea. God cannot be a man. I am telling you. Okay. If okay, God okay. can be, uh, let me tell you something. Okay. Well, if no, God you can said, be, I give you a chance. You are, you are shooting like a gun machine and stop. First of not all, not a gun machine. First of no, all, no, 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 Hebrew seven. No, no. Just he, me. Let Hebrews, me. Let me. Let, Hebrew seven. Let me it something. says he is a priest of God, the Most High. So you're okay. lying. He's a priest of God. It doesn't say he's a he's a God. So you are lying. Okay. Secondly, okay. Say, no, 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 I asked you. Explain this to me. What I just is explain this? to you? He is a great man. He is a great man. What kind? What kind of great man is this? He is a, a great priest of God, which means he was preaching righteousness between people. L ask. Okay. 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 Answer this me later. First, answer me about the about the Trinity. What is Trinity? So now you are jumping how, from a place to a place. Okay. No. 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 So now, no, no. <coughs> just just answer to me. Just answer me. What is what is the Trinity? I'm telling you. Okay. Everyone oh, easy, is. Easy, everyone easy, is. Easy, easy, my okay. friend. Okay, easy, easy. Oh, easy. Yeah, really? let, let me talk because you know uh, uh, you don't you don't want me to let me you know, let me talk and you are asking me question one after one. So you say. Yeah, yeah. But I but I have not finished. My friend, I, I want my friend, to. Friend, I want to put you, one, I know one you're one question. not finished, no. but let me answer you the first no, 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 questions no, no, no. you ask. Did you say don't, how don't say God like can be a man? Let me answer you, my friend. Are you adult or you are a kid? Don't say these words. No, this, I am this asking is not you, why you don't let me, with, uh, you don't let saying, me answer you about saying that what this... you uh, why you don't uh, let me answer you about what you ask. You are not saying like that. I I am not finished with my questions. You, uh, because you asked the question you, you said, said how Isaiah, God how God me... can be a man. Did you say that or not? Should I answer you or you want you, okay. don't, want, you don't want you, my answer? Do you, you want my said... answer? Do you want my answer? Yeah, write down. Write down what what I say to you. Write down. I'm asking you. I told you. Do you want me what to is answer? Trinity? Do you want me to answer? How? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no. Do not do not put words. Do not put words. Okay. Is it possible to be that this? Okay. Hold on. Trinity. Hold on. Hold on. Abdul, take it easy. Is it possible? For uh, these a are not good words. Is it possible? These are not good words that you are using. Well, Allah these are not good words you, that you Allah are using. Call you Abdul. You are just Allah call you Abdul in the Quran. Do you want to show you? I. <laughs> I, no, no, no! Do, do not say like that. This you are using. Yes, you are okay, just using these words. Stop being stupid! You don't want my answer. You are scared, aren't you? No, 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 no! Don't I'm not talk. scared. Let me talk. I let am not, telling you. Okay, you, you hold people. On. You said explain the Trinity. I said, is it possible for a person to be three and one in the same time? Yes or no? Three and one in the in in, in what in what sense? What, in what do you mean time. by this? Is it possible to be three and one in the same time? 
As simple as that. Like what? Explain this to me. Explain this to me. I I, I need your explanation. Can what is one, this? Can one person be three in the same time? Three in the same time? Like yes. what? For, give me an example. What is this? Well, how come it's hard to answer? Is it possible for a person to be three in the same time? Three person. Three person in the same yes. time? Like you are giving example uh, uh, every time, like soul, spirit, okay. and life, and blood. Okay, like let me that? ask you, is the soul of Allah? No, this, uh, is the soul of do Allah? Not, do is, not, is do not, do not ask. Do uh, not answer with a question. I'm not do answering not answer with a question. With a question. We are having this a is not a good idea. Okay, let's, this is not, see guys, this guy, I want you to count how many times he said this is not a good idea. You are very nervous and you are being a fool now. So no no no, um, no. Uh, listen listen don't say like I'm that. not uh, okay I'm not going to ask you a question so the word of Allah is it a person I told you do not answer with a question I'm not asking you I'm I... asking the Muslim because you are naive you don't have an answer obviously because if you have an answer you will say yes or no hey Muslims this guy he do not know an answer is the word of Allah is a person is the word of Allah created Allah, the word of Allah is not created. It Thank emanates you. from Allah. Guys, the word of Allah is the created. So where the word of Allah coming from? I am telling you, let me, let me, uh, let me put, put another question for you. No, don't put, uh, more put question. On. Continue, continue. No. The word of Allah no. is the created. Everybody heard you. Th finally, we got you busted. So the Messiah is no, the, no, word, no. the, Messiah no. is no, the no, no. word of Allah. No. Is he the word of hey. Allah? Is he the word of Allah? Do not put... Do not put me. You uh, say no, I'm not putting you. You hey, say Prince, not me. You say the Prince, word of Allah not created. That is that's not a man. The word of Allah cannot be a man. Why? Okay, where, how can the Torah says, be? How can where, the Torah? Where if in the a Quran, word of Allah, Abdul, I'm telling you. Okay, the Quran hey, says the word hey, of Allah the word is of a Allah, man. The word of Allah. The okay. word of Allah is not like like uh, you are doing like the word of Allah is God Ab Himself. Abdul, it is not like that. Abdul, the word of don't, Allah. Don't, the word of Allah is a man say. in the Quran, and you are a liar. Chapter four, one seventy one. Read it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Don't I'm tell me read you, the verse. Uh, you CP. said you said CP. the word of CP. Allah the, is the not... word of Allah. We don't say we don't say like the word of Allah is uh, God Himself because is, the word like, of Allah. Don't, don't, when, don't, when you say why you do, the why you use is, double standards? Is the word of Allah created? You say no. Is Jesus is the word of Allah? I am telling you. When he is born, when he is born, he is created. He is created. Just go to before Hebrew. Before he was born. Let us go Hebrew. to, okay, let's go before he was born. Before no, 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 he no, was no. born, he no, was no, no, born. No. Before he and was that born. Instance. No, 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 no. You are like, that time, you, you, you are like a guy who took some drugs. Do not, and, no, 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 so Jesus hey. was exist before his birth, correct? Absolutely. I am telling you, CP, even me, you, we were existing in God's knowledge since eternity. God knew us since eternity uh -huh. that this this world well, uh, okay, this, okay. Let us make this it time simple. they you, will be you let wear, me, let you, me, wear, let me, you wear let the me. word you wear the word of God, you? I am telling you, we were also existing in God's knowledge. This God is not knew the us from since eternity. Is, don't don't play uh, as a fool. I'm asking. No, no, is, don't, no, no. Hey, CP, Abdul, CP, don't Abdul, use bad words. Abdul, this is not Abdul, good idea. Abdul, Abdul, listen. Was Jesus the only one called in the Quran, the Word of God? I am telling you, CP, the word, the Word of God is this not not when the Word of God is becoming Speak a man, he reference. is not God. Speak to me with reference. You are making a statement, funny statement, and you support yourself with nothing. I can support myself with a statement from the mouth of your prophet. Is it true? That you're a prophet, he said that the Messiah is Ruhullah wa Kalimatahu. He is the Spirit of Allah and He is His Word. Yes or no? Okay. Okay. I'm telling you, CP, when the Word of Allah, when the Word of God is becoming a book like Torah, so why, why the question. people don't, this is don't worship? Question. This no, no, is no, question. no, no. Do not, do not say like that. Focus why? on me. Did you're a prophet, the word I of want Allah. an answer. Why you are, are you ashamed if you're a prophet? I am telling you, not, I'm not ashamed. I'm, I'm proud of I'm Alhamdulillah. You. No, 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 no. I'm telling Alhamdulillah. you. Why you don't answer? Is, you, you, you are, are, you you are prophet, just using, you are just misusing, using, you, using, you are insulting. You are, you are insulting by these kind of mocking okay, and no problem, insulting. No you cannot make sense. You uh, cannot, see, you cannot are, make are sense. You, are you saying your prophet don't make sense because he is the one who called Jesus the spirit of Allah and the word of Allah? Did he say that or no? I'm I, lying. God, 
the, when when the word of Allah is becoming a book, why that book like Torah is not God? This is another question. Literally this God. is another why not question. You betay. Why not a question? You see why I call you betay? Why you I'm use double? You, why? No, no, the no. The question is: you Did your double. prophet? Did your prophet describe Jesus as he is the word of Allah and the spirit of Allah? Yes or no? I let me let me answer this. Let question me tell you something. Me. Let me tell you something. No, 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 no. I want an answer. Yes or no? Either get me busted. The, say, I, I'm giving you. Listen, I'm giving you the information. Me busted, Do not say, meet hey, me. Christian Prince, Christian Prince, you are lying. My prophet did not say so. So are you saying that your prophet did lie when he said that the Messiah is the word of Allah and he is his spirit? And this is a title given only to the Messiah. Okay, let me let me answer. Let me answer. Do not uh, do not mute me. Do not mute me. I am telling you, God has already. If if anybody believe in the Torah, this is not the question. The, this the, is not book, the question. Uh, no, no, no. This no, is no, not no, no. the Just, question. Answer I'm the question. You. Did your prophet? I'm telling you. Call Jesus. I'm telling you. No, don't let me tell me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You are still. You're just make. You are just making jokes. You are just making drama. You are the one this is not, running this away. Is not, you are you're, the. You, you are, are just the one who is running away. You are making from what your my, prophet my, said. My Did question about the Trinity, <laughs> about the three gods, still stands. Listen, Abdul, are you making fun of your prophet? Uh, CP, let me answer this question. Do not. You are not answering. Not mute me. I'm asking you. Did your prophet say no. that? Yes or no? That is the that's the problem that I am telling you that you are not giving me chance. What You're not giving problem? me a chance. I will say yes or what? no. Say say yes God, or no before God you continue. Has... Say yes or no. No 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 before no. You I cannot say yes or no why because not? you are misusing why, and why you are not? muting why my, not? my voice. Why not? Why not? You are muting my voice. You are muting I'm not my muting voice your because voice. everybody can hear you. You are a liar. I'm saying now. Okay. I'm, why you don't I'm give me? You. Why you CP, don't give me CP, the answer? You are asking. You are asking me, but you are not giving me a chance. You are not giving me you a chance to answer you. I am the to... one giving you a chance. Did okay. your prophet, did your prophet I need... call Jesus the spirit of Allah and the word of Allah? Yes. Okay. No? You want answer? You no. want answer? Go ahead. Okay. Let me let me answer this for you. The word of Allah does not make Allah more than one. The word of Allah this is not does not question. make. This is not the question. This is not the question, idiot. Why you are you insulting? Because you are an idiot. What, I keep I am losing my voice, no, repeating the no, same no, no, question no. for the last fifteen minutes. I am telling you. Why Let Jesus? Me tell you. This is not the question. Did Jesus called by your prophet that he is and the only one? He is called the spirit of Allah and the word of Allah. Either you say this is true, or you say Christian Prince, you are a liar. Christian Prince, you are a liar because you don't give me time to answer. You oh, are so just putting no, your I words. I want you to say to me, did he call him? The spirit of Allah and the word of Allah. Yes or no? Give me time that that I you answer are, you for are you. Not because answering. every time you are, you are, not you are just I'm giving you time. You start talking about Allah. Okay. I'm not asking you okay. about Allah now. I'm asking you about Jesus. Okay. Did your okay. prophet okay. say? Did your prophet say that Jesus is the word of Allah and He is the spirit of Allah? Yes or no? Very simple. You just want you just want yes or no because you can no. you can yes use or no my, my and words? then we will go to we, we, you can go and give me more yes or no, no. first because I, I will, we wanna, I will, we I wanna not, reach agreement if this is a true statement I will, I will not answer you because you are you are interfering and you are ah, misusing that point you, will not you are misusing that point this is embarrassing you will not no, answer not embarrassing me. Not, okay. no 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 so no, no, answer no, why no, no, why no. Jesus is the word of Allah and the spirit of Allah why only him God. God has already restricted all people in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, verse anyway, 7, anyway, that do not anyway. do not bow down. That's stupid. You see why I hang up on people? How you can have even a conversation with those stupid people? If you're a stupid prophet, he called the Messiah and he is only, there's no other people, only the Spirit of Allah and the Word of Allah. You see why he don't want to answer? The word of Allah, we ask him, finally by mistake he answers saying, yes, the word of Allah is not created. The word of Allah is not created. Okay, wonderful. As long as the Messiah is the word of Allah, and the Muslim, they add things in the Quran to make it look different, but in the Quran doesn't say be and not be and this garbage. He is the word of Allah and he is a spirit, the spirit of Allah proceeding from him. All right. So the Messiah was the word of God before he became a man. The Quran confirms so. 
The word of God became a man. The Quran confirms so. This is in total agreement with John chapter 1, verse number 1 to verse number 1, verse number 14. In the beginning it was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And the word became a flesh. That is the Messiah. Connect this to what he said. Is the word of God? Is it created? He said no. That is Jesus. And is Jesus the Spirit of God? The Quran say yes. Not only he is a spirit, he is proceeding from him, from God. This is your funny trinity. The Word, the man, the spirit. The Word which is not a created. The Word which was always with God and the Word is God. So God became a man and this man, he has the spirit of God with him. From your stupid Quran. No, 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 no. You know, when you ask a Muslim, learn. You have to force them to answer. Otherwise, they will never answer. They will never. That does not make God a man. No, God, your God is a man. And we can prove it. So, I'm going to give this guy to call me a chance again. And for the last time, I'm asking you, did your prophet say that the Messiah and only him have the title that he is the Spirit of Allah and the Word of Allah? Either you say to everybody, you are a liar, nowhere we can find that, and then I have a duty to prove it, and then if I could not prove it, you got me busted. And if I approve it, you got busted. Because if every man is was the word of God, then every man have the title. If every man is the spirit of God, that means every man have that title. If only the Messiah have that title, that means there's no other man and there's no other person. Any Abdul, call me back if you are willing to answer. If you want to just keep going like a crazy person, then we will laugh at you. Anyone? And not only that, even your prophet, he said that Allah is a man and he look like the fake Jesus. And the Muslim, they say, the Christian prince, he hang up on us. They hang up on, you know, stupid people who don't want to talk. I talk about something, he want to answer something else. Or he talk about something else. Uh, Let us see the hadith. Is Allah is a man? Absolutely is a man. Unless you want to say that your prophet is a liar. This is your prophet. The prophet said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal, the Antichrist, that I am afraid that you may not understand. The Antichrist is short hinted, very heard, one eyed, and eye sightless and neither protruding nor deep-seated. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one eye. No, 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 no. What a turkey. Even turkey cannot speak faster than you saying the word no, no, no. This is how nervous he is. Muhammad is afraid 
that the Muslim they will worship the false Messiah who look like the Messiah supposedly. And Muhammad is afraid that they will worship the false Messiah as their Lord. But he is a man. And Muhammad saying the only difference between the false Messiah and the true Allah is an eye. <laughs> so yes, we prove that Allah is a man. Sahih. Sahih. No, 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 Mr. No. Your God is a man. And actually, your God, Muhammad, he proved in this hadith that he is a stupid. He just admitted that the Messiah is God for the Antichrist. He is the false Messiah who is going to be worshipped as God. And he looked like Allah. And the only difference between the false Messiah and the face of Allah and the body of Allah is one eye. Otherwise, why they will not, why even they will worship him as Allah if he's a man anyway? If the Muslim they don't believe in a man, and Allah is not a man, then why Muhammad is worried that those people, they will believe in a man to be their God, and he is describing a physical description for this person, and saying the only difference between them is just one eye. Hey, Abdul, how many eyes your God has? I think your God is a, is a crap. Many eyes. Any Muslim? <clears throat> they shout, they scream, we laugh. And here you need to learn how to speak to those people, like this guy. They will try to change the topic in the speed of light. You should not let them do so. Hmm. Any Abdul want to answer this? My Skype is still open. But please don't say no, no, no. This is not an answer for anything. Anyone? <clears throat> And you know, for us, we don't care if your God is one or two or three. What we care for, that your God is an idiot. The God who said the sun set in murky water, he is one God. He is one stupid God. And when a Muslim, he come to argue about the oneness of God and the Trinity, first of all, shouldn't you find me God in your God? Have you ever heard of a God? He thinks that there is two east and two west, two sun, one for the summer and one for the winter. Have you ever heard of a God? He come with a story, a fiction story, which is like the seven sleepers, which is nothing but a Christian story. This is a Christian author fiction story. Who care about if your God is one or ten? A God who says women she have a sperm coming from her ribs. You have one God, but he is an idiot God.
the Muhammadan they think <coughs> that by having a phrase of saying that we believe in one God they are you know they have like accomplished a victory in something but your God is a stupid God I mean what kind of God he sent the message to his prophet saying when you pray shaitan he fought I mean look at the interest of your God we will know who's your God Mr. Farting God this is a message from God to the honorable messenger this is what God he sent his angel to tell Muhammad is that really important news if this is what God he said to a prophet well this is a very silly stupid God and the one who received it and he told it is a stupid prophet too Imagine I'm claiming to be a prophet and then I'm going to talk to people who they, they follow me. Hey people, Allah, he told me today that when I pray to Allah, Satan, he do fart. Like what the heck? This is the one God? Obviously he's one stupid God. No, 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 no. He is so afraid to let me finish my sentence. And the funny, he says, I am not letting him talk. Always when I speak to Muslims, I say yes or no. They don't want to say yes, they don't want to say no. Did your prophet call Jesus and only Jesus, the word of Allah, the spirit of Allah? Either you say yes, and then we continue, or you say no, and now it's my duty to prove it. And you know what? I need to open my room because shaitan is farting now. We said Allah many times. Look, there's a connection according to Muhammad between, between fart and shaitan. I mean, how insulting even to, to, to God to say shaitan he fart. I mean, what is this? Shaitan fart? <laughs> what is that, man? What does that mean? How silly, how stupid. Is that a, is that a story for kids? Or shaitan he sleep in your nose? What is this? Shaitan have nothing to do except sleeping in your nose and he piss in your ears. Look what's wrong with people? We have one God. We have one. We have, you have one idiot, stupid God. Your numbers is not important for us. He's one, he's zero, he's minus. We don't care. What we care is this is stupidity. Shaitan, he sleep with the Muslim women when the man he sleep with her if he don't say the name of Allah prayer. He round himself around the private part of the man. But what is that? That means Muhammad himself, his mother, she gave birth to him by Shaitan because Muhammad's father is not a believer. And he was doing boom boom to Muhammad. Dad, me can post the link for you about that. Which is that, man? This is silly, stupid. This is insulting even to Muhammad. When Muhammad he said this, that Shaitan he rolled himself around the penis of the man when he do have sex with his wife, if he don't say the certain prayer, certain prayer, and Muhammad father himself was not a believer. That's me, Muhammad father is Shaitan. He is the one who stepped with Muhammad mother. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You know what happened to you? It's the same what happened to Shaitan when he fought, when he hear, you know? There's a video actually in YouTube. It's very, very hilarious. You can watch it. It's, you know, just search for Shaitan fought. You will die laughing. The Sheikh is explaining to you how Shaitan fought. And not only that, Shaitan, he play with your anus when you go inside the bathroom. If you don't say a prayer, you have to enter with the left foot brother. The left foot, brother. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Ah, Lord, have mercy. Any Muslim?
And you know, when Shaitan, he, uh, uh, he do that to the Muslim women, did the Muslim think about this sentence from Muhammad? <clears throat> Please don't text me. If you want to know I'm live or not. Yes, we are live on air. Hi, hello, CP. How are you? I'm fine. You are a Muslim, right? Mm, yes, I know. Yeah. You still a Muslim? No. Oh, you left. What yes, happened? No. Yes and no. What does that mean? Yes and no. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? How, how is that? Yes and no. How, how is that? I yeah, I was a Muslim. I was born Muslim. Okay. And uh, no, because I'm no more. Oh, so you are not a Muslim no more. What happened? Why you left Islam? Yes, after reading the history of Islam. Okay. Did you, did you read the chapter, no, no, no? No. No? Okay, here we go. We have one more no. All right, so you read oh. the history of Islam and you decide to leave Islam. What about, but what do you think about the science and the Quran? Don't you see the videos on YouTube about science and the Quran? Quran is full of science, man. It's all, huh? it's all garbage. It's garbage, It's huh? all garbage. Yeah, it's so, all garbage. So you know it's a fraud, right? It's a lie. It, it's a fraud. It's just garbage, you know. We were we were told from our childhood something. Hmm. And we were uh, fed with so many stories from childhood. But when uh, we open our eyes and when we read in the books, nothing is there. Mm. There is no baby in the pond. So they are just lies. That's what, what I realized. Think about, what do you think about the logic of Shaitan fought when he, when he hear the Adhan? Do you think that this is what affecting are, the global warming? You know, do you think global warming because of it? It is, it is just parting CP. I just say it is parting. Muhammad was parting everywhere, yes. Uh -huh. In Hadith, in Quran, everywhere. This is a fault. It is. Just, yeah, it but, is. Uh, just, but you know, yeah. always you need to ask yourself, what kind of a leader? Even he mentions such a thing. I mean, what kind of a man he is? It's, it's, this is stupid. Mm. This is this is silly. You know, mm. a prophet of God is standing, yeah. teaching his followers that when we pray to Allah, Shaitan he fought and he turned his back and like you know like and how come we don't hear him? And what the purpose of hey, it? CP, CP. Hmm. After reading all the books of uh, Islam, I have just come to realize that we really doubt about whether Muhammad existed at all. Was, was it a man-made religion? Well, you know, whether he really existed. Muhammad is exists or not, that will not change anything. But why not? Hmm. Muhammad can be exist. There's Eden and exist now. You know, I mean, there's uh, there's many people. If you give them a chance to to give in to Muhammad, they will say the same as Muhammad. Why not? There's many no, no, no. I, I really doubt. I really doubt the existence of the Prophet Muhammad. Maybe somebody existed by name Muhammad, and maybe a warrior. Maybe he uh, yeah. conquered the land, and they made him a prophet later. Yes, that may be the factor. Maybe we don't know. Well, you know, but for us, we we debate. And, we especially, debate especially, especially from the recent, especially from the recent uh, archaeological evidences and all. Uh, which Professor uh, Jay and uh, the other, uh, the, I think Dr. Shadi or something, is uh, we are seeing the videos. The, they all point to you know the same story that the, it, nobody existed in 632, hmm. and the uh, Quran never existed in that period, and the Islamic coins were not there in that period. It all happened maybe after 100, 150 years later. Yeah. All right. Well, my friend, I want to thank, thank you for, you know, I thought you are a Muslim, that's why I called you. But as long as you are not... Yeah, yeah. Well, that, oh, I'm, a, I'm still a Muslim, yeah, by name I'm still a Muslim, yes, by identity I'm still a Muslim, yeah. Yeah, by, by name you are still a Muslim, but you are not Muslim, okay. Yeah, by faith, no, yes. That's why you don't, you don't earn the, uh, the, the time you want to, you, wanna, you know, I speak to you because, you know, I debate Muslims and you are out of Islam already. Anyway, you know, have I... To, I wanted to talk to you, CP, from a long time. Okay. Yeah, I have, uh, have a request uh, with you. Okay. 
See, you are, you, you, you are uh, so well versed in Islamic history. You are so good in the Quran and Hadith and the Bible, and uh, you are so good proficient in Arabic, you know, like Tafsir and uh, history and all that. My request is why don't you come out in open and debate with the uh, big scholars uh, like, uh, you know, uh, like uh, David Wood is debating, like Sam Shamun is debating. They all come out in open and they debate. The debate was really I, I, open. I never saw, I never saw, any, any, I don't know, I never saw David Wood debating any scholar, like who? They were, I have seen in uh, YouTube, they, David Wood was debating whether there is. Yeah, but those, are not, those, are, those, are, those are all kids. Those are, those are a bunch of kids. Those are all scars. Yeah, maybe a bunch of kids. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But they are. They are all. Yeah, they but, are but anyway, you know, for me, what I do, I mean, what, my friend, did you have difficulty to text me and to call you? You just text me. I called you, no. correct? Okay. So they can do the same. What I can do, I want to. Ch I, I'm going no. to chase people. I can't force people to to, no. to debate me. No. However, no. if you want, no. if you want, if you want. Ask those people who you think they should debate me and okay. ask them why you don't call Christian Prince and debate him. I will call them. Give me their Skype. They will not, they will not accept that type of invitation. Oh, they they, I, they I don't, want don't type of uh, debates like, you know, David Wood, like Sam Shaman, open debate. Come out in open and debate and definitely I am sure no, actually, you will blast actually the debate, in every of Actually, the debate they are doing with David Wood is not open debate. There's no open yeah. debate. They have a topic, and they, no, are, they are putting you, conditions. You call for the debaters. You call for debate. Let it be an open debate, not a topic. My friend, how anything. I can call? How I can call? Okay. Do you know? Do you know a person you want to call? Give me his Skype. I will call him. Text him for us. Says, can you Christian Prince call you? I will call him. You are all big. See, you are all big names. You can arrange debates. I don't. You need, can arrange I do not debates. need to arrange. They have to arrange because I am here challenging everybody. So if you are asking me to debate somebody, why don't they uh, tell the guy at least give him a Skype, give me his Skype. I will call him right now. You know, you don't need to call me. I will okay. call him. Yeah. So, and and I have noticed and I have noticed all of the time you are having debates. You know, yeah. In your uh, debate TV, the only this. Uh, uh, you know, uh, whoever is calling will have no idea about their books, no idea about their religion. They would not have read Quran. They would not have read Hadith. No, my friend, we debated. And, we debated big, big sheikhs, not those on YouTube. And you can watch my videos on YouTube. No, no, we we have, have we have debate. Have I, have, I, have a, I have a debate. Hold on, I have a debate with the highest yeah. sheikh of the Shia in all of USA, Hisham al Hussein. You have interview in Fox News more than five times. I debated with the head of the Islamic Sunni Mosque and organization in 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 uh, in, in Tennessee, I think, uh, Doctor Nabil Baikli oh. and the Imam of the Mosque Malik Sar. I debated the, the, the doctor from Azhar University, uh, Doctor I forgot his name, uh, Rohi, Doctor Rohi. I debated, uh, I mean many. So what I would do, I mean whatever who, whoever comes. So don't don't you know I don't like to hear those things. If you have I'm somebody, if you have somebody want to debate me. I'm not de they are not big names with the Muslim world. Well, like I, I, no, no, they are. Right? They are no, those are. You are talking about YouTubers. Okay, what I will do? Why, 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 are we going to repeat ourselves? Mm. I keep saying. I just made a video two days ago, eight hours. Yeah. Who dare? Who dare? Yeah. Who dare? And I was live on air for eight hours, and now I am mm. with you. I am live on air for four hours, and you are asking me. Mm. Why you don't debate this guy and that guy? If it's my fault, I keep saying to you, bring me the guy. You want me to debate him? Give me just his Skype. Don't even say anything. Give me his Skype. I will call him right now. Immediately. Mm. Stop being mm. like a kid. What I will do? Should I chase people to their houses? Uh, yeah, no. Okay, thank you. Okay. For calling. No, no, no. That's it. You know, I, 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 you know, you're wasting my time. Why you don't debate this guy? Why you don't debate this guy? What I will do? <laughs> they don't dare. And saying that I'm debating only the fool. All of them they are fool. Have you ever seen one of them is not a fool? 
When Mimi Hijab, he said he want to debate me. Did I say no? I am the one who called him. He hung up on me seven times. He did not let me talk. And even in this, and he gave me 20 seconds, 30 seconds to answer. And before I finish the 20 seconds, he hung up on me. And we get him busted. <laughs> he claimed that he want to debate me. He said to the Muslim, do you want me to debate who? Which one? When? He thought like he's a hero. It was very embarrassing. They said to him, Christian Prince, he make a lot of Muslim leave Islam. And now what he would do? He can't debate Christian Prince. So he play a video. Did you say that? Did you say that? Okay, you have 20 seconds to answer. Very intimidated. I'm here. They don't dare. None of them dare. They will debate someone like David Wood. Because David Wood don't present any risk on Islam. Yeah, he will. You know, he, he has little knowledge, but not much. He don't speak Arabic. You don't know much except what is translated. And what is translated always is wrong. I'm not David Wood. Otherwise, they will be lined up to talk to me. All the names who came to debate, to, to debate David Wood, did you ask yourself why they don't come to me? Here you go. They, they call David Wood in his, in his program. They don't do that to me. What is the problem? The problem is very simple. They knew what would happen to them. Do we have any... Uh, let us make it simple. Do we have a sheikh? Actually, every Muslim he called me, I say, why you don't call your sheikh to call me now? Correct, guys? Isn't it each time a Muslim he said to me, I don't know? Even before he said that, I say, why you don't call your sheikh? How many times I say that every day? Where is your sheikh? I am the one who asked him, and I am the one who is asking you. So, this is a childish talk. Why you don't debate this guy? Why you don't debate? Here we go, I'm here. My Skype is open for everybody. I don't know who's calling me. I have no idea. I don't know how strong he is. I don't know how weak he is. I don't know how smart, how, how dummy. It is them who don't dare. They have to schedule a topic a month or two in advance. Why? Because they go to YouTube and to Google and they search and they print and they prepare themselves for the Lord because simply they are not people of knowledge. A person of knowledge, he take all calls because you don't know what people will say until he's ready. Correct? A person who has knowledge, his knowledge is with him. He do not need to prepare for the topic. The topic needs to be prepared for him. But because they are fake, they need to prepare themselves. They go, they collect from YouTube, from Facebook, from Google, you know, they have nothing. Like the guy who called me, no, 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 no. He don't want to answer because it's embarrassment. Secondly, you know, when, when a Muslim, they say that the word of Allah is not created. So now we have two divine. What kind of religion this religion is? If Allah is one God, and the word of Allah is not, okay, how you call it even the word of Allah? If it is not created by Allah, and not created by anybody. So where Allah, he get that word, he borrow it? Maybe he went to the mall and he got the word from of uh, the word he have is using from somebody. Now we are live on air and I am here for more than four hours and fifteen minutes. Please, Muslims, who is going to do us a favor? Call your sheikh and put him live on air with us. Who is a Muslim? is willing to call his biggest sheikh ever. Call a Christian prince and corner him. Get him busted. Ambush me. You know, the Muslim, they, they invited the, uh, what his name, apostate prophet, 
to uh, to their YouTube. And they supposedly they ambush him. They brought Mimi Hijab. Why Mimi Hijab don't do that to me? Ambush me. <laughs> yeah, bring a bunch of guys, Mimi and Fifi and Cece and Dudu, all of them, all of them in one room, ambush me right now. Who they are? They are scared to the point we can't even post a video. I keep deleting my videos because they are so terrified because of my videos. <coughs> Everybody have my videos except me. Can you believe it? I am the last one who can have his video in his YouTube. <laughs> This is why, because they are terrified. They go crazy because of my videos. Yesterday, just yesterday, we were live on air, and this is the first time, hundreds of time happened before. Live on air, they stop our broadcast. Not after, no, no, no. When we are live on air, that's mean tens of thousands of Muslims were flagging the video. They are terrified. And you know what? The more you do that, the more I receive support from people. Because the Christian, they are relaxed, they don't understand, they don't, uh, many of them, they don't really see how valuable what we do. They think, hey, okay, this guy is, you know, making Islam look embarrassing. But they do not know that I do what an army cannot do. We do not need to invade Afghanistan to bring peace to Afghanistan. We need YouTube in Afghanistan. A video. A video is more powerful than an army. They fear the truth. They fear their children see the truth. They don't want the truth to be seen. All those who call me today and they are ex-Muslims, did you ask yourself how they became ex-Muslims? Because they start seeing things they never saw before. This is what they fear. So my friend, we are victorious. doesn't matter what they do. And you know, I do this channel, I will make another channel. What do we do? People will come. We'll join right away. If I shut down now my, my stream, five minutes after I will have a thousand people watching. Yeah. And maybe I will do even Telegram, maybe, I don't know, we will see. There's many places, and maybe even post, and actually, you know, I want to finish my books too. I'm working hard these days in the Quran translation. <clears throat> Uh, you see the Muslims they prefer without saying names you know most of the Christians when they beat Muslims they don't really know the nature of this religion and what make out of those people you have to enforce your question otherwise they will take you to the desert and they will never let you like uh, they, they will not even say oh we are in the desert just keep talking 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 forever they will waste your time and they will never answer the question you have to enforce it i never saw a christian until now he knew how to be consistent to enforce the question you ask a question don't let him jump to different topic Especially if he is the one who mentioned it. What the Christian they do, the Muslim he spoke about Trinity, suddenly he speak about a, a, a different person, suddenly he speak about a different person, suddenly he jump to a different person, and you jump on him. And then there's no benefit of all conversation because you could not confront him, confront him in anything. One at a time. What do you want to talk about? You see, I even give them the opportunity to choose their topic. It's not like I'm preparing myself for a certain topic, whatever you want to call me. Who wanna call me now? Who wanna call me now? 
Who is a Muslim? Wanna call me now? A Muslim sheikh. Nobody. Why you don't call this guy? The question is why this guy don't let me to call him? In order to call him, I have to you have to give me your Skype. I use Skype, I don't use phone or anything, it's for free. Anything else before we finish for today? Anyone? <coughs> Show you uh, you want me to see my face? Well, I'm afraid that if you if you if you you know if your wife she see my wife my face she will leave you. Same what happened to the wives of Muhammad. You know Aisha and Safwan. Yeah, show your face. Well, I don't like to show my face. Is, do, is it okay if I show my shin? You don't even dare to debate my toes. Show your face. Stupid people. Did you see the face of your prophet? Show me the face of your prophet, I will show you my face. Even your God, Allah, he don't speak unless he is from behind the hijab. Your God, Allah, is a female. Did Allah say that Allah spoke to no one except from behind the hijab? Chapter 42, verse number 30, 51. Do you see it? Your God, Allah, is a female. And the word there, the word here, there is used is hijab. Prove me wrong. I'm not behind the hijab, I'm using internet. If you are in front of me, you are in front of me. And I don't like to show myself in a camera because simply I like it this way. You know, I don't shave my beard, I'm wearing my short, you know, very nice, comfortable, wearing my flip flap. You show your face because you are handsome, you are Zakir Naik, you know, you have a beard. Uh, yeah, is Zakir Naik, you know, because he is very handsome, he showed his face always. I'm not handsome. What my face have to do with the topic? Because they are silly, stupid, they have nothing to, they have no argument to refute me. So us your face. Allah, he speak from behind the hijab. Anyone? Can you show me the dumbest thing in Islam? Well, my friend, to do that, that will need like maybe 20 years. Like, look, I mean, this guy, he think, he gave me a very simple question now. Uh, Giorgio, how are you, my friend? This is impossible mission. I will not sleep for the coming century. All of it is done. But I will give you an example of something dummy. As long as we are talking about the hijab. When, uh, when a blind man, he came to Muhammad. Muhammad, he ordered his wife his wives, both of them, to cover themselves and to hide themselves. The wives, they said, but he is blind. <laughs> oh boy. Muhammad, he said, yes, he is blind. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> are you you stupid idiot if they are covering themselves nothing change are you saying to them they can't see themselves do you understand 
if the man is a blind man and he cannot see them and Muhammad says well he is blind are you so what they did now they cover themselves they cannot be seen from themselves <laughs> that is one like a priceless moment of stupidity let me find the hadith hold on let us see Uh, here we go. Read and love. That Ummu Salama narrated that one of the wives of Muhammad uh, and Maimuna was there and the man his name is Ibn Ummu Maktoum he came and he is a blind man so when they were there Ibn Ummu Maktoum he came and he entered upon him and it was after Vedin had been ordered for us. The Messenger of Allah says, Veil yourself from him. So I said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, isn't he blind such that he cannot see us or recognize us? He said, Are you blind too? <laughs> that is one of the most funny, stupid, dummy things ever. Because now, after they cover themselves, what changed? Nothing. But because his wife, she got him busted, she don't want to admit that he's a stupid when he ordered him to hide himself. You know? He don't want to admit that he was a stupid when he said that sentence. So now, he said, oh, what about you? Are you blind too? But we know that Muslim women are allowed to see. <coughs> Muslim women are allowed to see men, especially the husband is there. He's in the house and the guy is blind, you can't see them, even move around in the room, you can't see anything. So when they wear the 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 the, the, the veil, what a change. Nothing. <laughs> what? This is how stupid Muhammad is, you know? He didn't want to admit that he is a stupid when he ordered him to 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 do that, you know. Uh, uh, when this when his wife she got him busted, but he's blind. Like oh, he didn't want to say oh okay sorry you're right you're right don't yeah he's a blind I forgot. He ex excuses well he is a blind are you? So based on this, hijab must be that a woman she cannot see any man. So why Muslim women they don't do that? Silly. Anyway, I think it's time for us to go. And again, people, they text me to say hello. I don't know why. So anyway, I want to say thanks for everybody. May the Lord bless you all. We are here for many hours. As you see, uh, all way, almost four hours and a half, which is supposed to be a small video. Now, if you are going to download my video, cut it pieces, and please download them uh, <clears throat> and change the name of the topic based on the conversation. You know what I mean? Don't all of you download the same video and have the same title the way I have it because that will make it appear in YouTube and that the same name will appear in the same page. 
So divide the video, we have many colors, and whatever the conversation with the color was, or the main conversation, make the video title fit with it. So I wanna say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. Excuse me, I got to go. You know, it, it's not easy to sit for many hours like this. I need to move my feet around, otherwise they will be frozen not from not moving them, you know. Especially I'm a person when I go live, uh, it's hard to explain to you, you know, like I'm so excited and uh, my like my muscles is, uh, is, is not uh, relaxed, you know. I, I cannot control it, you know, I feel so excited. So uh, uh, that when I like when I stand up later, I will feel really the pain in, in my legs because I sit for a long time in such a position. Uh, but we pray that the work we do is not going in vain. And as you see, people watching our videos from around the world. Today we have a caller from Azerbaijan, other one from uh, Afghanistan, other one from India, other one I think from Philippines, I don't know, other one the lady, she did not say where she's from. She lives in Belgium, but we don't know where originally from. So as you see from around the world, and it's amazing that m most of them, they are already, they became ex-Muslims. So the work is very fruitful. And the important is one is salvation. It's not a Christian prince. I don't care if you like me, you don't like me. I don't care if you support me or not. The Lord is my provider. And I don't care if you really even make a comment because most of you are very cheap even to make a comment in four or five hours videos. I mean, imagine people watch a video for many hours and yet they don't have anything to say in the comment. Nothing. Those people are dead people. They are so lazy. I don't think even they can have a children's because I don't think they will go to bed with their wives. They are lazy to do it. So if you are a Muslim, tell me what do you think about anything we said. And don't tell me you are a liar. You have to prove it. Don't keep repeating the same funny, stupid statement. You are a liar. You are a liar. You know, we just showed you today that you can lie in Islam. And your sister, she did not know what to say about it. It's allowed to lie in Islam. I'm not allowed to lie in Islam. So when you say you are a liar, you are saying to me you are a Muslim. A Muslim man, even he can lie to his wife and the wife, she can lie to her husband. And if a man, he cannot be honest with his wife, Islam lost all kind of honesty. No decency, even between wife and husband. So please leave a comment after we finish. And don't forget to give us a like or dislike if you don't care, if you care to, to say something. At least do something. I mean, you know, just move, move your finger, do something. You know, be a human being who is live, living. He, you know, he, he have a reaction and action. Don't be just a, a, a potato couch who is just laughing and sitting in your couch. Ha, ha, ha. This is not funny, my friend. Those hours are taken from my life, from my age, from my existence. I'm a person who spent years and years and years consist consistent every day, staying for many hours, fighting the same fight. I'm not here to be your comedian, even though I try my sometimes to make you laugh. But this is not who I am. I'm not here to be a comedian. I'm here to be me, truthful sharing the truth, fighting for it. We are here to save the Muslims, to love the Muslims, not to kill them, not to hate them. We want peace, we don't want war. We want people to be neighbors, friendly, lovely. We want people to support each other. If you see a Muslim need help, help him. If you see a Christian need help, help him. If you see an atheist need help, help him. We need to be back to humanity. And I see that the only one who can bring us back to our humanity is Jesus. For he is the only one who said, love your enemy. And that will make us a human. Again. We are not created to kill each other. 
for there is no winner. The killer is guilty and he will go to hell and the victim is your victim. You just took his life. No winner. So I hope that people they learn and people they understand and we hope when we pray especially to our sister who called us the lady from Belgium that she will call me soon again and we pray to her family to her mother especially pray for them that the Lord will open their heart and their eyes so the mother she will listen to her daughter and the daughter after she accepted Christ and I, I pray for that she even will love her family who they are Muslims more than before because with the Christ you are a loving, I don't know what to describe it as a person. Let us say you are a loving uh, uh, engine. You, you know, you, everything around you will look different. And don't make anger from things you see around you bring you into hatred. Be angry, no problem. But don't be angry like a fool. Don't be an angry to make to become a criminal. Be angry to fix, not to destroy. Be angry to make it better, not to join the evil. We need a good anger, which is positive. When you see something wrong, say, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to do better. I'm not going to sit and watch. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. Until we see you again. This is your brother Hambly, Christian Prince, who was with you for a few hours. Not too many. Only four and five hours. Until we see you again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it every day. Take care.